Potatoes. Good evening and welcome <coughs> to tonight's episode of Eat, Crit and Survive, where a bunch of guys are gathered in a house to play Dungeons and Dragons. Woo! House! We have tea and other things and Lemsip and other medical products that are available, should you have a cold. <coughs> but this, yeah, is our, this is our party this evening. Um, so. Small but perfectly formed. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what she's like. And <laughs> uh, like George. Um, can take that any avenue, really. Like Keller Tom. George, really. <laughs> yes. Oh, like Keller Tom or anything else. I thought you would have went with Fee. She's the only short person well, in the well, party now. Well, she be saying like Asher. Trick. What happened last week? Oh, yeah, trick. Or what sort of started <laughs> last week? I must also say that like every time I open up a thing now, I'm like, <gasps> 50 feet. Of walking, <laughs> you can do in six seconds, <laughs> and plus one dexterity saving throw. Yeah, plus one to dex saves. All it needed it's was a plus three from my aura <laughs> to finally get it up. There. You no longer walk backwards. <laughs> so don't you? I think when you're wearing your heavy armor, that actually drops your unarmored movement. No, does it not? It's equipped. I'm a check a thing. That, yeah, I mean, unarmored movement. Fast movement. Oh, no, it's fast movement. Your speed increased by 10 feet when you aren't wearing heavy armor. Oh. So I guess D&D Beyond. <laughs> so you just need to remember to drop your speed by 10 when you put your armor on. I'll just unequip the armor. <laughs> Boop! And rage. And hit things. And then you become a lot easier to hit. But harder to kill. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, hit me. No, really, hit me. <laughs> Come on. I hit her with a crit. And? I'm still going. Fine, fire damage. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw. Shit. Son of the... <laughs> Wait, a natural 20. That doesn't mean minus one. <laughs> it's no longer 19. I think we worked <laughs> out that in that last fight, Roy wins saves for like 20 or 21. Mm. So it means that even on a crit... <laughs> He was screwed. I, I'd have to crit now, and I'd make it. <laughs> just. I would just make it. <laughs> uh, dear barbarians. So, where we last left off, you guys had completed your rescue mission of Alf Um Easiest adventure of my life. I know, right? You had gotten some cool armour. You had managed to scale the tower and scared off Arcanist Roywin. And... Freed Alfheim from the temporary shadow of Gaeon. Yeah, he was only there for like 50 seconds. It was about, about three minutes. Yeah. Obviously, there was the time that you were doing the Avengers. Oh, run. yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the Avengers fly, in your case. <laughs> so far away. <laughs> Couldn't he have spawned in closer? These <laughs> damn ads. <laughs> Why do I have to take so long? There's this mammoth chasing me for some reason. <laughs> I really wanted you to say that because he'd been charging for like 200 metres, he got a D10 for every 10 metres he'd got. Because <laughs> he was still would have missed. So it yeah. been fine. Well, he would have just gone through it and then just kept sliding. <laughs> just did that mammoth. <laughs> like, it would have just been like both cartoons doctors got straight through Gary on and left a mammoth shaped hole. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and lift up a wing just go Doro. <laughs> gets right in front of him gate <laughs> <laughs> elemental plane of fire <laughs> well this sucks no, elemental... just a wall of force would have been funny <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 to be fair elemental plane of water would be funnier because just like oh yeah I'm here oh shit I can't breathe <laughs> and now I'm a mammoth drowning <laughs> No, I'm a wet mama. <laughs> so, having completed that, you were then brought back to the king, and Dretnalis said that if you had any thing you wish of him, you may ask of it, and if it's within his gift to grant, you may do so. Some of you took him up on his offer, some of you are holding on to that for the moment. Is, it, is this an offer that we can keep, like, eternally? I mean, until he dies. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, no, around here, <laughs> at any point. As soon as I leave, something's yeah. going to happen. <laughs> We better cash this in quick. Yeah, I was going to say. Is this, is this, is, um, can I get this written down? <laughs> your, your Vic's not even going to be here next time we come back. It's just going to be a smoldering crater. Like it's, which is impressive for a series of islands. Yeah. 
<laughs> Does none of it exist. You should yeah. see the size of the rock that hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what Meteor Swarm looks like. <laughs> At 20th level. Oh dear. Um, um, don't. I went down that rabbit hole the other day. I only got one eye, so I was watching a video on like 10th, 11th, and 12th level spells in yeah. D&D. That, I just... I think it was like 9 o'clock when I started watching. I think it was about 4pm when I started. <laughs> I was like, wow, I just learned something that I'll never be able to use. Oh. <laughs> That's a good working day spent. Yeah. <laughs> the joys of being a pirate, kids. Yeah. Um, but having done that, there was about a week of downtime before you then had a celebration, <coughs> Your Honour, where things were done, some sweets were gathered, some contests of skill and strength were won, and the big one. Was, was one <laughs> which did mean you then wandered around with the giant moose for all of it was really good in that like, nice ceremony where they set the ship on fire and it was all beautiful and just had a moose <laughs> yeah, a crowd of people giant moose sticking up the top mm-hmm. which of course you could have shrunk down at any time but you didn't know how it wasn't specified to me when I won yep. <laughs> didn't read the little tag that it has it's like not machine friendly <laughs> well, not no. machine washable try me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but we enter back with a little rewind to allow for Foundling to do his sort of first week. Then we have the celebrations. Then we have three more weeks of downtime where things are happening. So, Foundling, what were you up to in that first week? Good question. I had thoughts of some stuff, and now you asked me for a spot, and now I've forgotten so. I have it written down if that helps. No, no, I'm. Don't tell I, me what to do, DM. I wanted to. I wanted to see Joannis and ask my favour. Okay. He, uh, uh, he, gives, he makes time for an appointment for you. What can I help you with? Uh, foundling, was it? Yes. What I was not with the group last time they came here. It, it sounds like it's a good thing I wasn't. There seems uh, no. to be some tension and, and history there. No. Well, yes, and there's definitely history. What can I do for you? Uh, without wishing to be disrespectful, most kingdoms maintain the spy networks of some description, as far as I'm aware. Do you? Looks at you quizzically. I mean, yes. Uh, the favour I would like to ask is for you to use your network to see if there's any sign of the one that created me a drow named Ferali Horeth she made me the monster I am she made a bunch of other monsters I think she needs to be stopped and I'd like to try and find her alright you can certainly get some of our researchers and agents on that a drow, you say? Yes. Interesting. Yes, she worked in the Arcanum under the previous regime, but departed when the saviors brought that down. I have uh, not found any sign of her near Elendor or that area. I have nothing to suggest she might be in this area, but it seems worth trying. It's certainly worth it. We do have networks let spread a bit far. I will get the research on it. Thank you, Your Highness. Of course. I will. Off All right. You, you wander off. Anything else that you particularly wanted to deal with? Uh, I did say I was intending to preach, but having listened to last session, it sounds like it's basically treating the wounded and fixing shit. Probably not the right time to start. It's a little, a little too soon. A little uh, nice. <laughs> this is only here because Athena said it was a good idea. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't necessarily go down too well. Yeah, and Farm Fling has insight, so I know not to do that. Yeah, you get the sense of that. There isn't a great deal that is needed to be done within the capital. There is quite a lot of rebuilding and medical attention required in the other two cities. Oh, um, in Antlang or Van Felder. I'll volunteer to go off and help with that. Okay, which place would you like to go to? Um, which one has the house? Oh, 
Your house was in Andalang. Let's go help out in Andalang. Alright, go to Andalang. Me help with the reconstruction effort. There isn't a huge amount that you really can do in terms of reconstruction because most of the properties and buildings here are reconstructed with magic by druids and wizards. You know, yeah. using fabricate and other spells to manipulate trees into growing in the right way. But you do help move some of the things around into their right place, yeah. particularly when it comes to your house, which has been quite damaged. I can't imagine what caused that. No, it's some dragon yeah. thing. Body's probably still Pro about there. Probably, somewhere. Probably. Did that just they be? have, they have, uh, that has been butchered. It's um, a lot of meat. There's a lot of meat, there's a lot of scales, there's a lot of there's teeth. The wizards have had a field day with this thing. Didn't we took some scales off of it as well, I think? No, you didn't. No? <laughs> no, you specific you really didn't. I took you a were, tongue. You took the tongue, you didn't bother with any scales, claws, or teeth, because you were you went into hiding almost immediately because there were devils sneaking around. So yeah, and we probably. wanted to get to the lighthouse pretty And then you wanted to get to the lighthouse yeah. before the before the uh, ice devils turned up. So you sort of hid yeah, it. That's fair. I mean I can't personally think of any reason why we'd want void. Dragon scales off an ancient dragon. Really, I'm kicking. Was it ancient down. or about? I don't, I don't, I mean, no. Yeah, you can. Oh, it wasn't ancient. ancient. I would have smited the fuck out of you. I don't know what we've been fighting. We fought a lot of things that day. <laughs> yeah. <You can laughs> it was a long, day. <laughs> was a long <laughs> day. From wake up to bed, I think there was like eight oh, fights. No, no, no. no, that was the next day. The next day was the long day. Because that one, you sort of you crashed into the barrier. Then you went and camped. You set a campfire. No. Which then I didn't set a campfire. <laughs> Which then was suspicious to the patrolling devils. No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, okay, but you do you managed to um, tend to some people medical and help. Yeah, yeah, medical aid. Uh, make for me two, me two uh, three medicine checks actually, just for the sake of how many hours you can deal with. How many hours can I deal with? Yeah, all of them. Hopefully. Uh, Let's see if your luck. Not is good really. That's. A a 9, a 14, and a 16. Okay. So not terrible, but some use. Yeah, you splinter a, you splint a few arms. <laughs> no, I, splint, I splinter a few arms. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just break them, and then you fix them again. <laughs> there, you feel better now. <laughs> I have dealt with this. Problem. Oh no, someone set this arm wrong. I'll fix that. <laughs> yeah. Ah! No, that's how it's meant to be! Uh-oh. Um, no, you managed to help a few people. It's, there's not as much injury in Anlang either. There, again, there's a lot of druids in this area that were able to talk, tend to the wounded. But you do feel a sense of accomplishment. Um, there's a few people who are a little bit sceptical about <coughs> magic use. They accept it, but in their society, because it's somewhat necessary, but they don't particularly want to... You know, If they can, they prefer to have things done the natural way. So they allow medicine and... Bandages and physical things to take effect. Also, let's the magic people save their stuff for the more severe cases. You pretty much, yeah. The, the ones that have got like my uh, like a couple of broken fingers and a few cuts and bruises, they'll heal on their own. Mid strength beer and a Panadol, It'll be right. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> Does it have to be a mid strength beer? Yeah, precisely. You don't want to be you don't want to be going for it. You don't want a Bud Light or anything like that. It's definitely <laughs> yeah. Other beers are available. Please. <laughs> Who are you looking at? The DM screen. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon on the back of the, the DM dragon, screen. Yeah, please. <laughs> Provide beer. Oh, um, man. Mm. The dragon that hoards beer. <laughs> there is... Oh, uh, there is be aged. In one of the... Um, How is there not a beer dragon yet? <laughs> it, well, in one of my... Dilly dilly. One of my books, there is an alehouse drake. Oh, that's awesome. Just a, like a little tiny drake that just hangs around in taverns. Hello. Does it have a translucent belly where you can see all the brew just like swishing around? It doesn't it's not a brewery dragon? It's just an ale house. It just lives okay, there. But that's it's like a I cat. <laughs> it's like a really big, dangerous cat. Yeah. Can it, can it, I want its breath weapon to be spinning out such strong booze that Tequila people shots. both possibly slip over and we've then we've, become intoxicated. We've already had a long time where we had a hammer which had ale in it. Okay, yeah. let's not revisit old territory. We had a hammer that it's day. Territory. That was before. That was way before your time. I was going to say. That was, that was. I was playing here for three years. Yeah. That was way before that was your my, time. My brother was still playing. That was Adam's character for a while. Yes. Wasn't it? A, gale a hammer full of ale. I mean, yeah. that was that was just before Jared actually. Yeah, I remember hearing about it, but yeah, yeah, that's yeah. pretty. He, his character entered the campaign by us being in a fighting pit. He was upstairs trying to have a wager, but got drunk, fell over the wall, and fell into the pit with us. 
that, so, that's how all characters should <laughs> enter none, into things none, accidentally. None, none of this, like, oh, you yes, you walk into a bar, and it's like, no, I got that hammered, I fell over, and had nothing else but the fight. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm screwed. Now I'm eternally bound to these people forever. Yes. Yay! <laughs> Until all of us die. Well, at least they got to have a good time. I just got sold to this place some goddess. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Oh well. Um, all right. So that's your first week, I and mean, then you return back for the celebrations and partying. The general. Yay! Um, <laughs> Why does Asher have an enormous moose? <laughs> Why don't you have an enormous moose? <laughs> I don't think I could carry it. No, me neither at the moment. <laughs> if only this thing could be small. <laughs> um, you play with the cards you dealt. But after the celebrations, you then have your remaining three weeks of downtime, so. Do what you will. <laughs> you've, done, you've done your thing, which. Yeah, I've done all mine, yeah. <laughs> took, which took an hour. <laughs> yep. Spoke to Odin, that was pretty much it. That was all you need to do. Yeah. Ah, yes, I presume we have levelled up. Yes. So I roll for my hit points. Please do. Monk dice! Eight, eight, Come on. eight, eight, seven or higher. Eight! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> you almost screwed it with that seven or higher. You were meant to now do, just Now do your own d20s, let's see what happens. Fourteen or more. No, it was just a four. <laughs> <laughs> you wasted it. It was only half listening, it hurt four. I mean, so let's be honest. It's for hit dice. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Can't roll for shit, but that's why my, my HP is so stacked, because it's just like, yeah, no. Ten. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh only five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, no. Don't we have a shed loads of gold as well? Yep. You got Everyone six. got six, five, six, six. Yeah, I think I was, was going to go for six thousand and some. <laughs> <laughs> but someone's yeah. got the exact figure. Six thousand and change. That's because that's all Jared has. <laughs> yeah, yeah any. <laughs> it was... No. It was 6,400, and then I added 166. <laughs> from somewhere. It's from the um, diamond. Um, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, um, it brought my total up to 7,500, and that's exactly what I needed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to regret that at some point. No, you'll be fine. You just make the enemies bigger. They're already big. Where, when's the going. next level where I can take an ASI? Uh, level 8 <sighs> in whatever class. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the pain of multiclassing. <gasps> Unless you're a multiclass fighter, then you get a bunch of ASI really early. Oh, anyway. I've been reading up <laughs> on Shield Master, and I'm like, that looks really cool. Yeah, it's really, it's pretty cool. Um, Half no, damage on deck save. No, that's, again, that's <laughs> the problem with multiclassing. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem with multiclassing, because... Yeah, it slows Kavino, you down. Kavino is going to get an ASI at next level. Yeah. As would Trick... And Kalatar. Because mm, mm. they're solid class. Two but levels. Found, yeah, you need two levels in Monk. Cedric needs another level. Actually, no, Cedric will get an, when he gets another level in Cleric. He's been keeping him at that divided by four number, hasn't he? He's now, he's now at a. Well, he's now getting to a point where next level he'll be at 8 4. Yeah. I think. So he'll be able to ASI no matter what. Yeah. Well, no, he's. <coughs> he's on a, that, he's eight, 8 Druid, 3 now, Cleric. Right. And that's why the developers were dicks and put um, extra attack at level 5. So they're like, ha ha ha, you have to go 8 levels in this if you want the extra ASI. Or well, <laughs> 6 if you're a fighter. Or 6 if you're a fighter, yeah. We love you, Wizards of the Coast. Yeah. Please don't sue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course we love them. We play this game every week. Like, yeah. Twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so yes. I, I am now immune to poison and disease. I'm yes. Like Yay. This level. <laughs> yeah, you know what's really awesome? That's Simon's third level. level. <laughs> Yeah, but Dom's actually got dice rolling abilities that will actually let him use Diamond Soul properly. Are you kidding? How many times was Rosh trying to augment my memory and I managed to rebuff that? Yeah, but that's because you had a ridiculous wisdom save. Yeah. Jan was not wisdomful. I, I, I was <laughs> in the purest sense of the word. Not in, in I mean, intelligence definitely didn't have. But Anyway. Anyway. What are you guys doing with your town um, time? That's not reminiscent of the old characters. Don's still looking, so shall I? Because if Con's already gone, then she's got stuff to do. I've yeah. pretty much done all my stuff. Sorry, do I see Don Tom there? You call me Don. Don, right. I've had a very Tom long week. Don I've had a long week. Um, right, so yeah, uh, researching constructs, automatons, yada yada. Um, okay. Kind of looking for a mount because uh, Asher's wolf was hella cool to ride. Um, okay. 
You want to take a quick trip to the Feywild, there might be one there. <laughs> <laughs> so, you spend some time doing your research with your professor and Kalatar vaguely nearby. Also doing similar research. And you sort of mention in passing about creating a mount and you know, being able to have one available at any time and you know, you mask one of the apprentices that's nearby says if only you're uh, one of those holy warriors they can just bring them into being at any time they want what, what are you talking about? oh you know those divine warriors they can just summon steeds oh. conjurous spirits and just they just make them appear hmm. <laughs> have that you I taken that spell now? Yeah. Yep. Now you've got second level spell slots. Yep. Everybody get on your horse. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait until a couple of levels, I'll find a greater one. <laughs> yeah, but you're never going to summon it because you're just going to save them all just by. Yeah, that's what they were for. for. <laughs> you've also got a lot of movement now, so I'm not sure what a mount's useful for unless you're going to go joust. Early. On the greater steeds, most of them can fly. Pegasus. Oh, wow, but nice. Asher can fly. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, but Asher can fly when she falls off the Pegasus. When the Pegasus gets hit first. Anyway, never mind. Um, if they both fly simultaneously, does the speed double? <laughs> like four wings. I end up carrying the Pegasus. <laughs> <laughs> I the Pegasus am, rides you. Yeah, the find greater steed. <laughs> it finds me. No, no, the Pegasus doesn't ride Asher. That's must have on Cathedra's gimmick. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you. And he goes and finds a scroll and just waves his hand over. And it basically shows a series of forms that are you know, static images. It's like a flipbook, essentially, mm. but a static scroll um, that shows essentially the essence of praying and hoping and conjuring a spirit that forms into this animal that they then can ride. Hmm. Okay. It's an interesting. Ridiculous, thing. isn't it? I mean. I mean, I don't know, you know, if you ever needed something to help you get around faster, it'd be useful. I mean, that's why I have a few teleportation spells, but, mm. I mean, I can't just keep b busting those out. Depends how good you are. Okay, I'm not that good yet. <laughs> um, hmm, okay. Um, hmm. I'm not going to be able to cast this, though, I don't think. Um... She's reading that, how to think. But, I mean, it's a spirit that you conjure down. You said something about um, the different kinds of constructs you can have, right? Where some of them are just powered by energy to do a task and some actually have a spirit in them. Do you think we could... Nah, I'm looking off to the side because I imagine he's sitting left of me. But um, do you think there's um, something along the lines of this we could try? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm meaning to be talking to the master, not the oh, just like who thinks it's ridiculous, yeah. <laughs> um, could be. Hmm. Not that I'm aware of. The divine magics tend not to mix well with the arcane, but... Hang on. Um, when I was constructing this, and she just gives the apparatus a bit of a jiggle, um, uh... The uh, looks disapprovingly at you jiggling in the studies, <laughs> you, as if you could see anything with all the like metal pieces on top. No, I mean right? just jiggling metal and clanking within the within the library. Anyway, uh, the <coughs> subtlety. Um, she uh, is not. Yeah. So when I was uh, constructing this, um, the patron that pretty much everyone uh, at the contrivance. Um, align themselves with is uh, Hephaestus, um, the smithing god. Who? Um, uh, Hephaestus, sorry. Uh, Who? Uh, sorry, am I right? Am I getting the right god? Yeah, they don't believe in him here. Oh. Different pantheon. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> oh, um, I guess you guys don't hear that here. Uh, it's, uh, uh, shit, I actually do remember some of the details about it. It's the son of, um... Other people they won't have heard of. It's the son, yeah. of Ze son of Zeus and Hera. Hera, that's it, yeah. Um, I'm curious about who the equivalent is. Mm. Carry on. I'm, I hey, uh, yeah, so he's the son of uh, Zeus and Hera. Um, he uh, 
forges armor and uh, equipment and weapons for the gods. Uh, he has a. Uh, sorry, remind me because I've heard alternate versions of this. Yes. He's, he's got. Is he just born deformed or was his face burned? I can't remember. Uh, no, he was. He was well, he was born deformed. Yeah, and then sort of slightly withered leg and mm. a few other things. He was well, he was born ugly. Yeah. And then he was thrown off Olympus and he bounced down to, the, to Earth. Ah. Uh, which made him worse. <laughs> uh, fell down the ugly mountain. Um, uh, yeah, and um, that's, that's pretty much all I remember about it. I, it's, it's been a while since I've heard stories about that stuff. But um, he, basically, when I was constructing this, I could feel him guiding me um, and he I really when I was doing the finishing touches and he put this emblem on it um, it wasn't even something I thought of he just kind of guided it and uh, do you think I, I, he seems to have a link to the um, construct and mechanical magics that um, the contrivance do do you think maybe I should try channeling him to see for guidance maybe I don't know you don't have a temple for him here, so I might have a hard time. Oh, sorry. Hello? <laughs> Sir? Yeah, sorry. I, uh. I, uh, what drift? Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, you don't, you don't know any spell like this or any way we could possibly create something, uh, similar to that. Hey, you can try. I mean, it's how wizards have created spells over the eons. You just make it up. Okay. See what happens. Hmm. You might mean Brocker, hmm? the god of smiths. Oh, so you have a god like that, okay. Is there Dwarfs do. Oh, the dwarfs do, okay. Is there um, somewhere I could go, maybe, to talk to the people that know that god, or...? It's far south, hey. It's where the dwarfs are. Ah, okay. Um, could get, get the sense he's sort of losing patience slightly. <laughs> man, jeez. I mean, he's... <laughs> He's a grumpy old professor, he yeah. does lose patience. <laughs> if you're a professor and you don't like being asked questions, then you're an idiot. <laughs> no, he just doesn't like being asked stupid questions. <laughs> yeah, I realised that was stupid. Uh, <laughs> that's, the, that's the vibe you're getting from him. <laughs> okay, uh, well, thank you for that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to quickly copy out some notes on this spell and uh, get going. Okay. Um, so yeah, sure basically copy out what she can mm -hmm. from the uh, fine is it summon steed or fine steed fine fine steed fine steed fine steed, fine steed yeah fine steed um, fine steed okay now um, Svartalfheim doesn't have a teleportation circle and if it does I don't have the runes for you it you don't know it nope mm. oh uh, I'm going to be packing all my shit and all that oh before I go what's the quickest way to Svartalfheim boat from sorry I'm guessing from a dock where is the dock Van Falder. Which direction is that? You've been to Van Falder. You've also yeah, been actually, to no, okay, good. no, 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 no. <coughs> you have all these names that I'm having a real hard time remembering. <laughs> you've been to you've been to Van Falder, you've been to Spartalfheim, you know where the do that is the right. dots are on the uh, eastern or the western side of the island. Okay, Spartalfheim. Now, that's really the, that's the one that we'd have all the upside down boats. Yes. And we have okay. the favour of a whore. Ah, uh, okay, good. From Spartalfheim. Yes, yes, right, exactly. well, I'm all Start making my way there. <laughs> okay, takes you a day to, or two days to get there. Cool. To get to the dock and then another few hours to sail across. But eventually, you get into the giant chimney mm -hmm. and the elevator that leads you down into Svartalfheim mm -hmm. and into Nidavellir, mm -hmm. where there is all the blacksmithing going on and all the commerce and all the trade. And mm -hmm. it feels nice. It feels familiar. Yeah, it probably reminds me of the contrivance because that's underground too. Yeah. yeah, underground river going through the middle of it. Occasionally, you see some sooty water go past. Mm. Mm. Then some sweet water. Then some sea water. Yep. <sighs> Good. Good one. Oh, what was? Right, the... Is he busy? Let's get busy. Come on. Yeah, yeah. What was the name of that god again? Sorry. Uh, Brotter. 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 I think. Brotter. Um. Uh, oh, Brocker, sorry. B Brocker. B R O K K R. It could be Brocke. Like Brocke. the uh, little tablets you put in your water when you have a hangover. <laughs> Brocker, yeah. Brocker. Uh, like broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> um, excuse me. Hi, I'm just basically going to walk up to the nearest person because 
Wait, I have been here before, you said already. Yeah. Yep. Do I know where the temples are? No. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Hi, sorry. Could you direct me towards the temples, please? I, uh, they just go down there. Okay. Take a right. Uh-huh. Take a right. Uh-huh. Take a right. Uh-huh. Then you're there. Oh, okay. It's all really good. confusing. We don't have a left. No, no. But it just goes into there. No, no. That's cool. All right. Thank you very much, sir. I'm a woman. Uh, ma'am, thank you. And I just start walking quickly. <laughs> you don't. You just, You get the sense that you're being flipped off. I, I, <laughs> I'm. I'm just going to pretend I don't. Yeah, do you this. have head, head down. Go in. You, you forget. Both males and females have beards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that just got me for a sec. Um, and uh, I follow directions. I hopefully get there. I, eventually. Eventually. There's, there's a, the problem is, is that when they say right, there's different degrees of right. right. It's like on a six-way intersection. It's like, do you mean the first right, second right, or the third right? Essentially, yeah. There's a lot of different rights. Eventually, you are given directions to the temple. You're charismatic enough. You get around. Yeah, good. <laughs> you get to the temple of Baraka. I just seem pathetic. That's how I get it. People there know. is that. Yeah. <laughs> Play the little kid card. I'm just little. Eventually, a minotaur guides the way, points the way for you, because oh. he feels sorry for you, because you're so puny. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I get there, um, and uh, I ask basically the first uh, acolyte uh, that I see, Hi, uh, sorry, I'm looking for a shrine to, or any followers of Broca? Just looks around. Is, is all of this it? I, I wasn't yeah, sure, this sorry. this is like his, like his main uh, temple. Sorry, I'm used to some cities having um, multiple go- shrines for different gods. Well, no, we're in the Smithen district, so, you know, if there's going to be a temple to the Smith god, it's going to be the temple that's in here. Ah, uh, cool. Um, I'm actually looking for some assistance. Um, I uh, am looking for uh, creating a version of uh, Fine Steed that uh, is um, more mechanically based uh, around constructs. Um, do you have any high level uh, people who would be uh, willing to help? Maybe we've probably got some some that can try and explain the divine bastanty. You probably want to speak to one of the, the warriors. Yeah, we've got a few smith warriors. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Garden. Garden. Yeah, come over here. You just see this sort of buff dwarf wielding a war hammer just over the shoulder. Hey, go and get Talk to this one. She wants to try and that thing you used to summon a horse. Sometimes she wants to see if she can do it, but with a machine. Um. Yeah, I don't really have any divine power myself. Uh, I was hoping for a spell that would help me animate <coughs> a constructed steed of some sort. Just and then someone mentioned this spell, uh, but it comes from divine power. Uh, and while I do. Um, follow uh, Hephaestus, who I believe is very similar to uh, your god, uh, Brooka. Um, I, I I really have no idea what I'm doing, um, and I'm just looking for some assistance. Right, uh, I can talk you through the mechanics of how we summon the spirits. Yeah. Then you've got to try and work out how to trap it and contain it within a thing. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, so, and he then sits down and starts explaining to you how the the connection to the faith sort of opens a portal, essentially, and connects to a spirit that is borrowed from its realm mm. and shaped by the divine entity mm-hmm. that creates them, um, whether they are from a fey ancestry or angelic or demonic in some instances. They. He just sort of discusses how this might go about. You start thinking about it. Make an arcana check for me. Okay. Mm, you? Wrong dice! <laughs> what did I roll? Two. <laughs> the worst. But, but, that's still a plus eight, so yes. it's a ten. <laughs> you do have your d10 still, technically. Oh, yeah, I guess I could. <laughs> I haven't unpacked all my dice today. Uh, what? How dare you? I know, right? Bless me. Sixteen. <laughs> okay. You begin to understand the idea. Uh, it's very. You start to make connections to the conjuration elements mm. and the 
ability of summoning the elemental spirits that you occasionally have done in the past. You start thinking about how that could potentially be manipulated to summon an elemental spirit into a construct. It might not be that you have the full construct available, it might just be that you have to you summon it into the matter and then you use that as a manipulation, as a conduit and that energy to mm. create the form. Mm. Um, but it starts starts to get there. Mm, okay. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just keep studying and practicing that until hopefully I make a breakthrough. Okay. Uh, make another arcana check. Is this following day by any chance? <laughs> no. Same. <laughs> well, it depends on how well you roll. <laughs> 16! 16, okay. You spend a few days struggling to try and piece this together <laughs> and conjuring the right spirits to, mm -hmm. to do this. Um, that's the easy part, is bringing the, <laughs> the spirit through and sort of creating that gateway. The tricky part is then connecting them to the material and getting them to form the trick we want. On a couple of occasions, particularly towards the end of the you know, first few days, you managed to get them into the form of a hamster. <laughs> um, but as ride that. You, you can't ride that, and also a mechanical hamster is cute, but not particularly helpful. <laughs> Although noted for later. Yeah. <laughs> so you then um, start thinking about how best to manipulate this, and you go back to um, Viblain, back to the arcane school, um, and have conversations with the conjuration specialists. Um, they start talking to you about how best to combine things. Yeah, I know. Sorry, guys. There's, um, <laughs> the conjuring is in water. I know, right? You start thinking about how best for you to complete this and to bind those things together. Mm -hmm. You think about it. Or another arcana check? <laughs> you think it's done? <laughs> yeah, boy. 23. 23, okay. <laughs> you suddenly have a breakthrough late one evening. You just hear a mooing in the background <laughs> the loud vibrational energy and mechanical moon mechanical bear mechanical moon bear, <laughs> mechanical moon bear. Um, it's on the floors the walls the ceiling no mechanical yeah. moose and you start you suddenly think if I change this part of the speech then maybe and you sit together and you start to speak the words into the pile of iron chambers. You've sort of got a big pile of metal over yeah. the beard of it. And you start to speak it and you suddenly feel that connection. You reach into the fire elemental plane and pull out this spirit and transfer it into the mechanisms. You start picturing it in your mind and moulding it with your hands, creating the forelegs, the hind legs torso, the head. What form would you want this to take? Um, Ghost Rider. <laughs> think of a motorbike. Yeah, <laughs> with four legs. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I mean, are you wanting me to pick from what was mentioned, or am I just picking something? Oh, you're random? picking from what is available in the actual spell. Yeah, yeah, so elk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As you then summon a mecha moose. <laughs> just elk standing there. there. <laughs> they're the same thing. Stats-wise, they're the same thing. Oh, okay. Um, standing there, chewing. And as you look into it, there is a fire within its eyes, Ooh. and the antlers themselves are actually glowing. Mm. They're just sort of like a radiant heat coming off. <laughs> yeah, that's going to work well for stealth checks. I'm, I'm just going to be like, <laughs> pause for a Built second. heat is a good thing. <laughs> heat <then>. heat. <laughs> I'm um, just, she's just going to be stunned for like, because she won't believe it, like yeah. when it first happens, yeah. I mean, it just looks at you expectantly. Hi. <laughs> what noise is that? Elk, mate. <laughs> um, are you... Uh, can you understand me? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, good. Yes. Um, that alright, just fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just hear uh, some clicks and words. Do you, do you feel okay? Uh, not if you feel okay. Yeah? Okay. Um, do you... I, do you want... 
me to send you home now? Are you okay staying for a bit? I mean, sorry, yeah, do you want me to send you home, yes or no? Make an insight check. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't know what I mean. Uh, 14? 14. It's not quite worked out how to shrug. It doesn't mm. know, it doesn't, it's been summoned here and bound here, it's sort of at mm. your discretion. Yeah, because that was like one of the thing about like, Kafina not wanting to have souls bound to things, she's kind of concerned about it, so she's more like, okay, if this has worked, I don't want something that hates me. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> Since you're <laughs> within. All this smoke, it's kicking up, it's making me cough. <laughs> it's not smoking in the slightest, it's just... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a mood with, like, fire elemental, it's totally that, you know... Sure. <laughs> not, not your... Allergies <laughs> to the, the mechanical the moves. <laughs> Do you want to go get some... Go take a minute. Uh, if someone else wants to, like... Not die kill your on moves. camera. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go take... <coughs> <coughs> Setting me off. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? What if you died? <laughs> it was her soul. This. It was her soul that was attached to it. No, <laughs> she's slowly dying. Uh, if you would, if you would like to be part of the cast of Eat Christmas Five, we are having open auditions <laughs> about five minutes after Jared's funeral. <laughs> During, no time like the present. You can't replace the only diversity you have. We can find one. We had we had a woman once. Yeah, we had a woman. We had a, a gay Indian. We did. Did we? Yeah, yeah Dan. Oh yeah. <laughs> my, and that became... my, my old school friend, Dan. <laughs> yes, I remembered him. The one that invited you to this group in the first place. No, no. I didn't Luke know, Tom, invite, I didn't know fan, Dan play. I had an open, oh, had an open okay. invite. You put it up on Facebook, and I was that like little guy, like who went up in like. 10, 10 p.m. at 10.01 I was <laughs> ferociously typing have you ever played D&D &D before? nope <laughs> do you know how to play at all? nope <laughs> what makes you want to play? D&D mm -hmm. <laughs> heard it was cool I don't know. anyway um okay uh we'll come back to you <laughs> that's okay um yeah so okay um can I ride you? there is a it's all clacking as along the hind legs, flaps fold out. It's a great little step ladder to let you walk up its leg. That's useful, thank you. And the panel on the back just <laughs> slides out, and there is like a little cockpit on its back. Awesome. Um, <laughs> right, uh, okay. Don't forget your so, seatbelt. Um, yeah, does it have handles or reins? Like, no. No. I'm <laughs> guessing I'm holding to the edge of the cockpit then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, go do a little circle around the room if you could. Looks around. You're in a really small room. It's your room. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, hmm. Moustache. Just, uh, is, is the door open? Yeah, but it's not big enough for moose. Hmm, <laughs> should have really thought this through. Well, um. You're about to make a bigger door. Thank you. Uh, I, I hope I see you again, um, and. Thank you for your help, and I give it a little pat because I'm just, you know, awkward with animals. And um, I'm going to cancel the spell. Yeah, you just dismiss while it while I'm sitting on it. Yeah, while you're sitting in it, he's only a. Oh, that's a oh shit. Yeah, I'm, I am actually curious about what will happen. Like, I just want to see like, <coughs> falling in that situation. Yeah, you just <laughs> fall straight down and land well, on a pile of metal. Get used to that because there's going to be times when it just disappears from under me, and she's going to have to be used to that. Um, all right. Uh, so she now that she's managed to succeed one, she's going to keep trying and become proficient at the spell. Okay. Yeah, you manage to get practice. You manage to distinguish between the type of elemental that you're able to summon as well. Mm. So you can sort of you have the fire elemental, which has the sort of burning antlers. You have the air elemental, which is well, at least the air elemental spirit, which is a little bit sort of like a little bit of a frost tint to its outside, a little bit more stealthy and camouflaged. Um, Which animal is that one? It's still the moose. Still the moose. Although the is same. it always moose? Well, if depending on how you cast it, it depends on whether you want to change the form. I mean, uh, uh, it is, so are you saying elk and moose are the same thing though? Because I imagine elk... They like, are the same thing. Are they though? Yes. 
Oh, I thought, okay, I'm thinking of something different then when I'm thinking of You think of reindeer? <laughs> no, I'm thinking of um, the ones with like the skinny pointy antlers. You mean a deer? You're... No. The skinny pointy antlers. You're thinking of antelopes but, and oh, yeah, ibexes. Thinking You're of thinking of, of the ones that live in Africa, not the ones that live in <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Yes, I am thinking of antelopes. <laughs> that is you exactly can make an antelope if you want. I would like to make an antelope. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, that one is that one's more wind based because it's sort of a bit more streamlined and a little bit more. It's just it seemed like the perfect fit for Fee because it's tall, slender, and pointed. It almost like a lightning rod kind of creature. Just sure, imagine. Sure, for the flavor, that's the one that makes is the air elemental form. Is the but for the game purposes. It's a moose. It's a moose. <laughs> <laughs> it has the same. It's either good. Well, it's that or a deer. I think they're close. I've got elk stats bookmark, so. <laughs> they're close. Well, I, ibexes and antelope and that sort of thing are more closely related to deer. So it yeah. would be deer, oh, deer stats. stats. That might actually work out better because the elk ended up just being slightly worse than the war horse in every way. So I was like, I'm still going to summon you because a war horse doesn't sound like fee speed, but. <laughs> no, it's, I don't know, it's quite slow. It, does, <laughs> what what elements the warhorse? Warhorse would be earth. I thought so, yeah. Um, and then the mastiff. Water, water. It's just dribbling. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's just right. a sl- slobbery slain, Saint Bernard. Camel also earth or fire? I'm guessing. Water, water. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, yeah, that was. Really, a while I was after. All right, I, and then plus I assume it takes for a while to sort something like that out. Yeah, it takes you. It lineup. takes you. It takes you a couple of weeks to get all that sorted out and yeah. to get the right forms together. At various points, you guys sort of when you're various wandering see Kafina with a moose, a boar. As you know, you can't. You wouldn't summon a giant boar. No, I was thinking I don't have boar. Um, I antelope <laughs> for some reason. My God, is that a moose? <laughs> see a fire see. moose. All sorts of weird shit. Or as I call it, a foose. Anyway, uh, Foundling, what were you up to? Uh, I think I would have looked into the sort of religious situation here. Are there temples in the city? Where where does the religion happen? The religion happens in each of the... Well, which city in particular? In the capital. Well, the capital. Okay, so in Fibblade there is a religious sector. Um, mostly dedicated to Odin, mm-hmm. um, but also because this is the elf capital, they do have temples to Frey and Freya, um, as sort of patron deities that fr- come from um, Vanaheim. And a few other Vanaheim deities are in there, but Odin, Thor, the, the general ones that are within the Norse pantheon. Yeah. Uh, can I talk to someone and try to find out? How much it would cost to set up a shrine? Presuming I could get land and permission. Yeah, sure, make an investigation joke. Okay, I'm gonna try and put Athena statue in the middle of <laughs> Just like basically it. build the Parthenon in the middle of, uh, of Investigation. Fourteen. Fourteen, okay. Um you managed to have some conversations and um one of the, the clerics, uh, female elf says to you Well, we're not really looking for any more Deities here. <laughs> we'll keep, your <laughs> keep it on fire. Yeah. You can send to us having keeping your details for <laughs> an undisclosed period of time. Um, but it might be worth speaking to those in Fanthalda. Um They tend to have a lot more visitors, being the port town. Um, they may be more appreciative of having a foreign god. There's a lot of winds going on. Um, of having a deity of guidance and wisdom looking over them. Thank you for the suggestion. I shall go and ask there. Have a good day. And you? You can sense that they're trying to work out what the best way to Address First, you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <coughs> Just pretend you were meaning to finish the sentence there. Have a good day. That's mm-hmm. all you meant. To say. And just sort of smile at you. They're not quite sure how, what, yeah. But the sort of sir or madam is appropriate for you, and they kind of settle that neither is appropriate, and sort of yes. leave it. Just trail off. If, if they have been decided, they 
they'll probably speak about, but I'm quite happy for them to just go have a nice day. Yeah, have a nice day. I don't particularly care. But. Yeah. Um, but you spend your then two days travelling back to Van Um and they, because they are in the process of rebuilding, there are there is land available. Um, you're able to chat to the dock master that you met, mm -hmm. who seems quite happy for you to lead construction in a temple to Athena. I'm not sure I'll have enough to afford a, temp a whole temple. <laughs> I was thinking a small shrine, but I guess I'll talk to people and find out what the costs would be. Okay. Um, this is where I go into the DMG because there is actually a section for this. Yeah. Building. building a pantheon. I think it takes like four years or something. Oh, I mean, you've managed to build your own pantheon. You've got like three goddesses and one god. <laughs> That's how you roll. You've got the Raven Queen, Athena, Artemis, and Odin. That's yeah, it. Working on it. <laughs> Two virgins, the Raven Queen and Odin. <laughs> you've done alright there. Um. I mean, really waiting for them all to call in a favour at one point like, really we've all helped you now and now you must do these seven impossible tasks please that was the last campaign <laughs> so last campaign I think you need a fifth one so it can be like full Captain Planet by their powers combined yeah like the power of grace those are great those, are, those <laughs> are really I don't understand the reference those are really diverse pantheons as well because you've got two war gods but one of them is also the goddess of civilization, and then you've got a goddess of nature and the hunt, and then a goddess of death. So <laughs> that's a really diverse pantheon. Uh, right, downtime. Cover all your bases. Yeah, yeah no, right. Well, give us whilst we're looking books. Yes. What's that? Well, or in my case, I was looking for books earlier, but mm. since, since I last told that my DMG has gone somewhere, and I don't know where. Oh, really? Yeah, that's odd. Mm. Oh, it would be somewhere in my flat. It's okay. just. So. Yeah, I've been moving things from one bag to another and reorganising stuff. So <coughs> stuff I don't use regularly has a tendency to <coughs> till I find it again. Uh, that's building generation. That's not what I want. I want downtime. Building downtime activities. That's the one I'm looking for. Uh, so building. <laughs> okay, so. Upon various discussions, mm -hmm. you find out that building something like a temple would cost around 50,000 gold and would take 400 days to build. So it would take a little, about a just over two, a, a year. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Um, but to do some sort of temple uh, or some sort of like shrine, yeah. sort of minor thing, you're probably looking more at something like a an outpost, that sort of thing, maybe, or a trading post, that kind of, you know, sort of loose design that is available for people to come and put offerings to. Maybe have someone attend to it to make sure it doesn't fall apart. Um, that would cost around five thousand gold and take about sixty days to construct. Well, there you go. And they're fine for me to just commission it and then just let it happen. happen. Yeah. Cool. Let's do that then. All right. My God. You. Give no, my God. <laughs> your, your God. And your God. <laughs> Our God. <laughs> and Kalatars. <laughs> Busy lady. I oh, know, right? Um, you queen. leave... <coughs> make a... Uh, what... Um, are you proficient in any artistic tools? Uh, calligraphers supplies. All right. So I could both be... Make a nice right. do, some, do some nice scripts for the... For them to carve it or something. Yeah, a few nice bits of script. Um, do write for me then, uh, or roll for me even, a... <laughs> <laughs> Can I just write? I'll make it a lot easier to get a good number. <laughs> yeah. Right, I've let's drew, see, what number am I going to pick? I've drew this nice polyhedral 20. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 20s on every side. Uh, roll for me a... Uh, religion check. Religion? I actually... Do you have proficiency, oddly enough? But that doesn't help when you roll a natural one. <laughs> hey! What okay. is my god? It takes it takes you a while before you suddenly realise that you don't actually have anything that depicts Athena on you. No, I've got my owl cloak, but nothing that actually depicts Athena. No, you've got nothing that depicts Athena. You've got no ideas about the design on this. You end up having to waste two days. They sort of you leave them to clear the land so that they can build this thing. You then waste about 
a week going back to the capital to find either Kalatar or Asher so that you can get something that does it. Eventually you find Asher who has her small book of Athena. Your book of Athena? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I have the uh, beginner's guide to Athena. That was, that was how you got into your paladin. Nah. <laughs> idiot's guide to Athena. Um, where you find the holy... Did you put that on? I need to read it as well. <laughs> too, too much time punching at the temple, not enough time studying. Why is, why is there not enough punching at this temple? God. Athena. Um, you then return <laughs> with the book and use it as... Uh, guidance and sort of some of the artisans take statues and really sort of, you know essentially the Parthenos that kind of thing and they build this they start construction on a essentially a square temple which has Athena sheltered within nice um, using the four columns just to support the corners of the little roof just so they can build a statue cool um you pay the 5,000 gold for them to do that. I know, the price that you pay for religion. I know. I'm a monk, I don't need money. No, he doesn't. They don't, sorry. I've had stuff back then. <laughs> that was like four grand. <laughs> That's not what horrible history tells me about monks. Wrong, wrong kind of monks. The Spanish Inquisition monks are very different. Yes, yeah, so class. <laughs> Because oh, no, no one expects them. Oh, I was <laughs> drinking! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> swallow! Swallow faster! Wait, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Congratulations on your engagement. It's uh, <laughs> pretty much how it happened. Yep. 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 Never said this before, yep. but yep. don't swallow. <laughs> Devil reference. Um, <laughs> bye. Anyway, yes. Anything else that you wanted to do? Uh... I don't think so. That seems to have used up quite a bit of time and most of my money, so. <laughs> That's always the consequence. Um, actually, for you, Kafina, that would, doing your research in terms of crafting and materials, that would probably cost you around 3,000 gold. Cool. That means I still have enough for those teleportation circle components I need. Indeed. Asher, are you doing anything? Broke. Um, <clears throat> so I can't buy anything or do anything really that way. Um, Continue on my escapades with this lovely lady, um, mm -hmm. and then maybe go over to Asgard and see Reykjavik at any point, but I'm not entirely sure how that will go. Okay. Um, so you spend some time uh, with Nuala, and a little bit of time with Frodo as well, a little boy. Um, you, to the point where you get asked to babysit occasionally. I'm sure that goes well. Yeah. Uh, roll for me a just <laughs> survival. <laughs> Make a charisma check. Charisma. Yeah, it's entertaining a child. Yeah, check. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. That's better than what I thought it would be. You managed to look after the child. Well, <laughs> the child comes keep, back as given. You managed given. to keep him entertained. Uh, then make for me a survival check. And alive. <laughs> Survival's high. Yeah. Thank God. Fourteen. <laughs> you. Go for bottles that you think would help me. Go, nope, that's alcohol. <laughs> that would probably keep me quiet. <laughs> that's, that's for me. That's <laughs> me to keep me alive. Um, but yeah, keep the child entertained and happy and healthy. Um, and then eventually take her out on like an actual date. Yeah. What? Where, where I actually mean, where, where I'm like, you know what, I think she likes me. How I've you, made this decision. How do you approach her? I, while, while I'm there with no, the fucking roleplay man yeah well, <laughs> while I'm there I'm gonna like hand the kid over and I'll be like oh, well maybe we should go out and get a meal sometime yeah I'd um, I'd like that that'd be nice I don't actually know any of the restaurants around here <laughs> Did, are there any still standing we could go up to the palace and have a meal there if you want <laughs> that uh, might be a bit uh, elaborate for my taste but uh, there are there Incredibly, you've noticed there isn't a lot of damage to this city. Oh, like there's barely anything has been damaged, and it's been taken the wizards not long to just go fixed. <laughs> just get a cursory glance and oh no, my potted plants, <laughs> my cabbages. <laughs> just someone upset my cabbage field. Um, yes, I um, I know a few places that might be enjoyable. Sure, I'll be here at eight. 
<laughs> you just leave. <laughs> Uh, so how high is Ash's constant? I mean, charisma. Real high. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, you, real high. <laughs> what are you wearing for this? I don't know. <laughs> Not armor. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is that's pretty much the only clothes you have because otherwise you've got your old outfit, which is just bandages, rags, and trousers. <laughs> I need. I need. I need clothes. I have a king's favour. <laughs> so you go to the king's tailor. Yep. I get some very nice clothes, mate. Sure. You asked to You saved the, quest. the city. What can I do for... I need clothes. Uh, we can provide you with some outfits. What sort of thing are you looking for? To wear to court or... Well, I'm going out on a date. And right, who's the lucky... Lady. Oh, um, right. One of the... Clerics was, was fine. Um, holy woman. Yes, very holy. <laughs> I haven't stabbed it yet. <laughs> I, I won't judge. Um, <laughs> unless, yeah, you just, actually, unless you actually stab him, in which case it will be his job to judge. I'm not quite sure how I'm feeling, so can we just go from like casual, smart casual to really over the top? Of course, we can. I will. Uh, I will summon the tailor. Great. Um, you go get to your room. You sit down, <coughs> sort of in the dressing gown. That yes. big. F- I want a big fluffy gown. <laughs> big fluffy gown. You sort of wait. See great sword sit on the side. Suddenly the door. There's not even a knock. The door just swings open, and this <laughs> elderly, <laughs> withered elf woman sort of wanders in, kind of like Edna in The Incredibles. <laughs> we should catch up more, darling. <laughs> Just sort of wanders in and just goes, well, 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 that's yes, what you want, what you want, you want me to dress you, do you? Let me get your measurements. And then she just throws the robe to one side, leaving the door wide open. And just <laughs> no kit! <laughs> just gets a tape measure and just measures everything. Fantastic. At least you know it'll fit well. Right, what do you want? Do you want something? Tell me what you want. Oh, all of it. Bring me through the spectrum. We've got all day. Give me two days. It disappears <laughs> off. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're about to have a wardrobe. <laughs> Well, it would be nice. <laughs> Problem is, it's a night. It's a night. I need something for tonight. You will actually have to wear a wardrobe. <laughs> B. Ah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, she stops. But I need something for today. <sighs> hmm. A little rough for what I'll be used to, but... Son of a bitch. The clothes, darling. Ah. Uh. I'm going to have to put a rush job in. Tell me, what is the person you're meeting? I'm just meeting a lovely lady on a date. It's a first date, to be honest. Slutty, or...? No! <laughs> <It's> anger! <laughs> you, darling, not her. No, modest, nice. Gown. Mm. Flowing, train? Yes, these things. I normally just wear armour. So, yes. Mm. Colours? Nice colours, yes. Dealer's choice. I trust in your experience. Just squints at you mm. through the glasses. And then you, that's when you realise you're still naked and the guards just wandering <laughs> through the corridor. I've done worse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they sort of go, they're professional, but you've definitely seen them going... It's like, they're all just really slow as they go yeah. past. <laughs> we just really, we really need to check out this corridor. Yeah. <laughs> just maybe twice. <laughs> it's it's I, like left my, I left the stove on. I left my halberd over here. <laughs> Fine. Give me two hours. She disappears off. I walk back to my room. Okay. Walk back to your room. Naked. Get in. Yeah. <laughs> Road back on. Wait. <laughs> Please be good. Please be good. A couple of hours later, door swings open again. Good, here. Hands your address in sort of a leafy cover. That'll do. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in two days to pick up the rest of my outfit. Fine. Disappears. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. Take it out. Have a look at it. And it is this sort of light blues, almost sky blue dress 
sort of starts at the shoulders. It is fully over the shoulders and does is very conservative in its fitting. For it is very form fitting, but it is conservative, modest. Um, sort of flows down sort of around your hips. Where as it goes down, it slightly changes colour. It goes darker the further down the body it goes. Um, goes to about calf length, um, but it does trail at the back maybe a foot or two. Great. Um, then you realise you don't have any shoes to go with it, apart from your armoured boots. That's fine. Or just from normal boots. Yes. I'm just barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> just Cinderella after the, yeah. <laughs> after the ball. Uh, I need to go and find Cedric. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Presume, do you put the dress on, or do you? Just yeah, I'll put the dress on. I need a loaner. Only, I need money. It's the only <laughs> yeah, I'm yes, I'm taking you out on a date, and you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's very nice. You would look like you would be a cloud. I thought he said clown. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Cedric, what? can 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 I um, borrow some money off of you? How much do you want? Like ten, fifteen gold. That doesn't sound like a lot. What are you doing with this gold? I'm going out for lunch with a friend. Make a deception check. Yeah, that was never going to work well against him of all people. <laughs> Mr. Googly. Unless! <laughs> <laughs> what is it, deception? It's, yeah. Still not very small, I guess. 20. Cedric equals that. <laughs> Does that. What happens then? He he beats, you set the DC, he beats it. <sighs> so close. <laughs> 17 on I that. do not believe that that is what you intend to do. Are you doing what Kalatar occasionally does? Yes. Oh. From my experience, you'll need more money. <laughs> <laughs> he just hands you a yeah. sack. How <laughs> much money does Cedric... 150 gold. 150, oh my god. <laughs> but Cedric didn't need any money before. So he managed to he didn't, but he was there he when Kalatar... Cal- cal- with his natural charisma. Yeah, but that's, what, that's when Kalatar... <laughs> That's how much Kelatar spent. And George. And George. <laughs> Didn't Kelatar get like multiple on that day? Yeah, he's kind true. of assuming Ash is doing the same. <laughs> yeah, Cedric. Cedric. Courtship's different for where yes. Cedric's from. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, we'll, we'll go out on a lovely evening meal. All right. You pick her up, and she is wearing a. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> she is wearing um, a sort of a green dress. That really complements her hair. It's also been tied up into a braid and then sort of into a bun behind it. Um, the green dress, sort of, it looks. It's almost like dragon scales in the way that it's been <laughs> Void embroidered. Dragon scales. No. Green dragon. Um, sort of embroidered in the way that it looks like it is a scale pattern, particularly across the chest and the bodice, um, and then when it flows out at the at the legs, it is not as long as yours. It goes to about knee length. Um, which is surprising given how the climate is not necessarily appropriate for that sort of weather but she wears a sort of a dark brown cloak that she wears around her shoulders she smiles at you I've um, put Fro to bed and has uh, been looked after by my sister oh, well, that's something new you are you are a sister yes uh, she's um not here very often, but she made the trip especially. Oh, fantastic. Shall we? Yeah, of course. I don't know where it will go. No, right, she leads <laughs> you um, through the streets. You got to chatter a little bit, and start talking about family and things like that, and you make your way through, and you come to this delightful little restaurant that you do not know the name of because it's written in Elvish. <laughs> Other menus also written in Elvish. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, do you need help deciding or? No, no, I read just fine, thank you. <laughs> right. Um, she hands it. She speaks in Elvish and waters. And the waiter nods and looks at you. The same, please. Thank you. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Take the menu away. It's gonna be some lame ass salad. I can <laughs> feel it. <laughs> oh, that's what she's having. <laughs> Um, wine has also been ordered and is placed at the table. A very light and refreshing white. Very crisp, very light on the palate. Very, 
clears that slight stuffiness that you've had for a couple of days. It just sort of clears everything out. It's like, it's good stuff. <laughs> Thank God Cedric overcompensated for the goal. <laughs> yeah. Um, sort of more, more talk when the first course arrives. And it is very finely carved apples. Oh. Carved into delicate flower shapes and then caramelized to give them a wouldn't mind that myself <laughs> give them a sort of a very sh- glittering texture and flavor like a candied apple kind of thing almost um, it's unusual to have something so sweet as a ever adult sweet as a starter um, <coughs> but actually as you you look like you think it would be too sweet but as you bite into it and uh, sort of cut it open and you do bite into it it has that it's incredibly well crafted to look like an apple, but actually, as you sort of go through it, it is more. It's, it's essentially like a goat's cheese and red onion tart, but but it has been crafted in such a way that it just looked like an apple. Yeah, very nice. Um, very nice indeed. Mm. And then you sort of ponder: Am I just eating an onion? <laughs> <laughs> but an onion that looks nice. Yeah. Tastes nice. Welcome, welcome to Five Star Dining. Um, the next course comes, um, and it is a fish of some description. You have no idea <laughs> what it is, but it is very nice. It's some sort of white fish. You are very grateful for it. You have absolutely no idea what it is, but it's flaky and buttery and delicious. <laughs> haddock. <laughs> just a haddock. The whole haddock. <laughs> just a, it's just the soul. <laughs> Um, and then the <laughs> probably some other fish we blew up in the harbour and blew up the ship. <laughs> <laughs> <Whee! coughs> um, and then the meat course arrives, and you are astounded by what has been ordered here, because what has before has been very delicate and dainty. This is a, essentially like a beef Wellington, but wrapped with different types of meat. It is like a. Huge meat platter. How? Oh. <laughs> Essentially, yeah, it is like a kebab sort of thing, just hanging on a skewer. <laughs> kebab, actual assorted yeah. meats, <laughs> mixed kebab skewers. My favourite oh. meat, all of them, um, but with you know salads and things and peppers yes, on the sides for to fill the rest of the to fill things up, and potatoes and a few things like that. But it is just, it's, it's just meat. A good day out. Um, you feel as if you can't eat any more, but dessert arrives. That's fine. Dessert has a second stomach. It's completely different <laughs> from the main stomach. It's a little offshoot. Um, and this during the <laughs> it looks essentially it's a creme brulee that sort of thing, um, but with weird and unusual floral notes to it. Very relaxing, very soothing. What well, is there anything particularly you wish to discuss with her whilst you're not gorging? Yeah. I've just realised I've not had a proper meal in about what, four weeks. Yeah, she has used a lot of energy healing people, so she is worn. <laughs> You've been wandering around kept with two tons of armour on you, so <laughs> Yeah, that stuff's not light. Not a muscle. I'll just I'll ask at the end of the night. If you know, you've got a babysitter in and around, you probably don't want to go in and wake them up. I mean, do you want to come back to my place or? Pick a persuasion check. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not lame. <laughs> Twenty three. <laughs> and she sort of bites her lip. And uh, says, <coughs> Yeah, uh, where are you staying again? Uh, in the palace at the moment. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Not every day you get to say that. Unless you're George Takai. Yeah, exactly. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Um, <laughs> you <laughs> put the entire sack of yeah, guns <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> um, you do pause for a second just in case it's not enough it's not enough <laughs> you're like 
hmm, not so baller at the moment, <laughs> but look at this shield. Uh, what shield are we on a date? Jesus. <laughs> Uh, so there's protecting your lady, and that's a little overdoing it. I didn't bring a sword, though. <laughs> that's true. Just beat them with a shield. No, I'm just wearing a really conspicuous ring. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Give me ten minutes. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> the worst Iron Man armor ever. <laughs> the first one. The first, yeah. <laughs> um, but you go back to the palace, and the evening concludes there for you. Fade to black. <laughs> and screen fade. <laughs> and just pan away. Out of the window. Yeah. You take it you take oh. up to your favourite place, up to the tower. Yeah, sure. Just as something to look at and then the camera fades. <laughs> Stock footage, very special this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's just Kelatar playing that as he walks across <laughs> the screen. Naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five minutes later. <laughs> um, next morning, you wake up and <laughs> she's gone. No, she's still there, <laughs> face down, booty up on your left. Oh, well, covered. <laughs> Just on, on your left. I will pretend that I'm asleep until she is awake, for not to startle her, <laughs> <laughs> so as not to be get out. <laughs> She eventually stirs. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm not going to high five you, that's a little. I was waving! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> You're right next to each other. Hello. <laughs> oh, I don't have to step up. <laughs> Sup. <laughs> so that was fun. Can I get you a tea or a coffee or. Um, yes, I think some tea would be good. I just peruse this massive room. <laughs> Where is the kettle? <laughs> I know there's a kettle here somewhere. There is. You you use fill, it to fill, many fill up a massive pot. <laughs> Branding smile. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Yep. You make tea and just on the back end she's not sitting up. It's all breakfast morning. I um so you need to get back. Sure, I'll um, I'm sure you understand. get ready and escort you off the premises. They're very large. You might get lost. I, <laughs> I've um, I've been here before. I know my way around. Oh, okay. Well. But not like that. I mean, yeah, it's, I I've slept with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like that. I've had to tend to the old king before he died. Mm. It was a number of years ago. He was a bit of a creep. Kept trying to look down my dress. Oh well, then he definitely deserved it. I not not that much of a creep. He just loved. He didn't do anything about it. <laughs> well, I had a lovely evening, and uh, we should definitely do this again sometime. Absolutely. Um, maybe I'll cook for you this time, so we. Uh... Good. That yeah. sounds fantastic. I'll await your call this time. <laughs> okay. She puts on her dress and shoes and <laughs> <laughs> sort of wanders out and she sort of lie back in the bed. Right, she sort of look over. There's a note. Tonight? Question mark. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Didn't even see her put it there, it's Quite impressed. Ah, well, I haven't got any money to steal, yeah. so I feel fine. <laughs> Should steal Vogue? <laughs> that shield's gone missing. <laughs> Son of a... Your ring! <laughs> Next time you get there, you just find the baby chewing on Chatterfang's a teething ring. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to do that. <laughs> the world's toughest babe. Some, <laughs> summons, accidentally summons two wolves. Yeah. <laughs> just, puppies! <laughs> um, but yes, your Make for me um, three charisma checks. Nine, sixteen, twenty. Okay. The second day doesn't necessarily go as well. You accidentally knock things over and wake up the child. Yeah, well, that'll happen. Um, but See bye. Bye. Um, bye. But then you lean into it you get back into the swing of things <coughs> you start 
borrowing money from other people <laughs> uh, because Cedric Cedric has disappeared. Oh, he has gone off to see his sister. Oh, we did it without us. Yeah, because yeah. it was easier. Now how we're meant to get into the shenanigans and crazy adventures. <laughs> yeah, I was banking on that one. I wanted to hear, hello. I wanted to hear that double. Cause, uh, I don't know, trying to do his voice but slightly higher pitch. <laughs> <laughs> what do we say about doing other voices? <laughs> I haven't met this person yet, so I don't know if I'm doing a voice or not. No. <laughs> if someone's had a stroke in the <laughs> um, But, yeah, you managed to scram some money for... Yes, and the relationship sort of develops from that. Perfect. Magically. <laughs> Magically. <laughs> what I like is that your pa- just at the point your parents were leaving, they were utterly silent and sort of just standing there, just chatting. It's amusing. Anyway, um, so yes. Anything else that you guys would like to do, or should we come to the end of the downtime? I've still got my um, quick visit to do um, with Thingy. Um, so yeah, I want to thingy. Yeah. Um, so now that I'm comfortable with it, and mm-hmm. I realise um, that time that we're meant to meet is coming <laughs> up, uh, going to go to a supply shop and buy five more lots of um, uh, teleportation circle components. Mm-hmm. That will cost you two hundred and fifty. It will cost you three hundred per use because it has just come out of a war. They are in short supply. So prices have gone up. Then I will not buy any here. I will use the one I have to get to the contrivance and buy cheaper ones there. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. It's 300 all in. Sorry, I didn't realize it's 50 gold yeah. per use. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's, it, it would be okay, 300. If it's only slightly more, I'll help like them 50, out. Yeah. It's like buy five, get less one. Yeah. <laughs> buy six, don't the get... The inverse. Buy six, get five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by five by the price of six exactly that's a deal um, <laughs> someone's deal right so there we go I'm just removing the money now I'll add the components later because okay. I'm about to use a bunch of them that brings me up to six um, before I go though uh, the two places I went to Viblain and place with all the dwarfs um, Svartalfheim Svartalfheim thank you I need to keep just remember Svartskov and it's very similar to that all need of Alir is the actual city um, Svartalfheim is the Island, but mm. it's the cover for it. But uh, Nidavellir is the actual city. Nidavellir has nothing that remi- it reminds me of, so I'll remember Smart. Need shot. a dwarf here. <laughs> yeah, dwarf here. Um, <laughs> in either of those places, did I see um, construct uh, components that I haven't seen before? Uh, not in Vantalda. You would have uh, make a perception check. Yeah. Uh, 24. 24. Yeah, there are a few different mechanisms you've sort of seen wandering around. A few iron golems that have been wandering, but and stone golems that have been pottering around behind dwarfs, sort of carrying things and you know, doing things. Um, a few of them got sort of alternative hand arrangements, mm. so having different tools for doing things. You also see a keg golem. It's just a barrel that's just walking around after people. It's all sorts of different things that you come across. It's mm. intriguing. Because golems themselves are way too expensive for me to buy. But if I could find some unique pieces that don't exist in the contrivance, I want to bring them back as presents. So well, patent them. <laughs> I, no, no, no. Just like, you know, if there's unique pieces of metal or unique materials or okay. differently crafted stuff. Make an investigation know. check then. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is another time. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, it would be. I mean, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's go for it. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Um, seventeen. Seventeen. Um, you managed to find someone that is selling off used parts. Oh, I, don't, I don't want that. I'll look again. <laughs> well, they're generally they they used parts in the sense of they are golems that have been either discontinued because of they've been upgraded mm. so they're, they're old parts that have then been taken apart and taken off mm. or if the construct itself had some sort of ac- mining accident mm. and was then all that was left was like a leg mm. or a hand and and these are things I've only, I haven't seen in the contrivance not really. You never. You didn't spend that much time at the contrivance, wandering around looking at the big golems. You were more focused on your smaller, yeah, small yeah. scale studies. So you've got some of the big golems. 
Hmm. All right. Well, yeah. Um. I'll buy. Uh. Let's see. I want to buy something for Tolan, and then maybe some smaller pieces for. Um. Uh, FIFO farm humdrum. <laughs> okay. Um, and there's only three of them, but sure. No, you gave me two more. After oh, you like get, six yeah, you months. got promoted. You got promoted again. You yeah, got, yeah, yeah. You got three more. Two I more. started with three. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Two more. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. So one big part for Tolan, five small parts for um my goblin goblins, right? Yeah, the goblins. Goblins. Yeah, goblin assistants. Yeah. All right. Uh, the small ones you can purchase essentially a bag of fingers. Um, but fully articulated, mm. like proper. Weird fingers. You're but... literally going to give your assistants the finger. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can get those for fifty gold a piece. Cool, cool. Um, for something big for Tolan, what sort of thing are you looking for? Because there's all sorts of things here. Like I mean, a... honestly, even if it were small, that's fine. It's just I know Tolan's leading the team while I'm not there. He really deserves the bigger present. So there's a you find a head of an Ooh. of an iron golem that yeah. has been. There's dented to some degree but they what they've done is they've taken off that part yeah. of the panel they sort of done, you know kind of like the anatomical sketch where they've sort of like cut down the side of the face and then they just sort of you can see the cogs inside yeah, it doesn't yeah. do anything other than sort of occasionally click and whir and light up yeah oh yeah perfect I'll take that and right. the five fingers alright <laughs> uh, the fingers for 50 gold a piece uh, the head costs uh, about 1500 so that's uh, 2750 I mean 1750 no no 2750 <laughs> <laughs> uh, what am I it's like a shopkeeper who tried to sell, upsell you on things. He went, yeah, sure. I'm Wait just, a minute. <laughs> I've just been watching my gold go down and down and down and down. That's what happens on downtime. Yeah, that's um, why it's called downtime. Yeah, <laughs> when money goes down. Um, right. So um, now that I have everything, I am going to spend one spell slot summoning my mount. <laughs> In what form? Um, my favourite uh, antelope. Okay. Which I found out deer is thankfully what I was because I, I thought to myself it's like why does this have the same dexterity as a war horse? That's so weird. It should be like more nimble and obviously because it's a moose, isn't it? Like it's, it's, <laughs> it's a big it, thing. Yeah, yeah. No, that's why I was so confused. But yeah, the um the deer actually has a higher dex mod. And I was like, oh, that makes more sense. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Got it. You've seen Bambi. And <laughs> yeah. Um. This sucks that I actually use that fate die because I'm about to use something that I don't want to blow day, up. Um, I would like to cast Disguise Self. Okay, roll my phone check. Yeah! I mean, the, DC, the DC's 12. I don't know why you're panicking. Because I have like a 1 in 10 chance of failing. <laughs> And knowing me, rolling twos is like my skill. Anyway. Um, yeah, anyway, 26. Yeah. yeah. You, you disguise yourself. What are you disguising yourself to look like? Um, the spell allows me to make myself look one foot taller, which I will, because V has a high complex. Sure. Um, I'm going to make myself... You look all of four foot tall. <laughs> yeah, all of four foot tall. I feel so tall and illustrious. And um, I'm going to make the apparatus uh, disappear, kind of make myself look like... Um, someone who's kind of noble, maybe a bit elven, you know, make the ears pointier, um, try and make myself look all, like, uh, attractive, basically. Okay. You know, if I'm going to, why not? Um, and I'll make the um, antelope look like a regular antelope. Okay. Yeah, and the magic does transfer to make the antelope. Woo. You, you're surprised to find that actually combining those two spell effects seems to work. Mm. Transfers to your mount as well. Nice. I was hoping that would. But as the problem is, is that the illusion is good to a certain point because I you're know, still sitting. Time. You're still sitting in it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, so hmm. it just looks like your head is sticking, and your shoulders are just sticking out of the back. Of the I might mantle. close the cockpit and just awkwardly sit on the back of it. Okay. Yeah. It, that. It can be moulded into the shape of an actual saddle if you choose right. to ride on yeah, its back. Yeah, yeah that's. I would have. But the cockpit is more entertaining. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I she'll also want the cockpit when she's riding in battle because you know less chance of being knocked off, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. So I've got that all prepared. I'm going to like right. Stay here for a second. Teleportation circle off to contrivance. Okay. 
Yep. As you step through the teleportation circle. With the antelope. I yep. get back on the antelope and ride it through. Yep. Or, or lead it through, whichever yeah, is good. Yeah, lead it through. Because you said stay here. And I was just like, okay, you cast the circle. Step through. Shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Best of behind. Stay here while I spend a full <coughs> minute drawing shit on the ground. Don't yeah. just run off because you saw something. <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, get into the contrivance, uh, get back onto my antelope, and, um... As you sort of appear in the teleportation circle, there's sort of a... <gasps> oh. Uh, you're Tara. There's a bunch of gnomes there to greet you. Oh, they still recognise me? Yeah. Dang. That was kind of what I was doing the disguise self for. Um, you're oh, Tala. Why have you brought an antelope in here? It's, it's actually, um, a, a conjured construct. No, that's made of fur. That's it's, that's it's, an animal. It's disguise. Uh, I've used disguise self to disguise me in the antelope. I'm that's, not actually. That's not how disguise self works, though. That's not that's not how the spell works. It's disguise self, you moron. It. I know, but just go. It seems to have lost patience. With okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm too recognizable. Ah, oh, well, screw it. I'm gonna go see see uh, to wherever my research lab is. Okay. And... You do have to leave the antelope behind because your research lab is in one of the pods. This is on the walls, and the ceilings are not high enough, or the corridor's not wide enough to allow an antelope to walk through. Because yeah. I also noticed that it's medium compared to all the other ones that were pretty much large. Yeah, like, oh, but it's useful. still yeah, but it's still decent size. Yeah, bigger, yeah. bigger than a human. So, yeah. yeah. So anyway, your sentimental can go. You can touch your game. That's true. And I just discovered that you could say sentimental. 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 <laughs> that is now going to be said so much. Um, <laughs> Thomas. Yeah. Donde es Tomás? Mm, sexy Tomás. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh God, is that what you're going to do to disguise self with the antelope? Jesus, Jared. No, no. She she just wanted to like so, surprise yeah, you can, anyway. yourself. Anyway. You make yourself into a centaur. A very tiny centaur. Um, <laughs> half, 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 half cuter, half antelope. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That's anyway. So creepy. Yeah. Um. So knock on my lap, and what happens? Uh, well, Tolan opens the door. So. Oh, hey, supervisor. Uh, yeah, so uh, you're back. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, what are you... What's up? Um, there was something I actually wanted to show you. Um, yeah. And I was also trying to... Why are you taller? I was trying to surprise you so that you didn't realise it was me immediately. I'm apparently not very good at disguising myself, though. And, yeah, tallness was purely for disguise reasons. Um, I mean, if you're trying to make yourself look like an elf, you just look like a halfling that's got stilts. Right, well, lesson learned. Um, anyway, yes, so anyway, good to yeah. be here. Um, yeah. There is something I want to show you, but first... Yeah, there's, um, some, stuff, there's some stuff we got to show you as well. I mean, come and have, cool. come and have a look. Yeah, yeah, And sure. sort of lead you in, and um, the goblins are there sort of tinkering away at various things. So we've made a few little prototypes of uh, little things that we'd like. We've got uh, this one and places a tankard in front of you. Okay. Is it... Uh... I mean, it's, I'm assuming it's more than a tankard. Drinks up! And it suddenly, the spout suddenly turns into an arm. It just sort of lets go and it sort of looks around. It's like, a, it's like the, um, the Pixar like, okay. light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sort of, yeah, yeah. From the tankard, and yeah. then the sort of the base of it starts to rotate, mm. and it just floats off the ground. So it's like a hover. Oh wow! <laughs> it's like that... a little crane tankard. Wow, that is actually remarkable. Yeah, uh, we got this, we got this idea of how we could uh, make things go a little different, mm -hmm. well, and we've yeah. had some fun with this. Mm -hmm. It just sort of floats oh, off. That's that's amazing. Has anyone else seen it yet? Oh, we've been waiting for you. Oh, thank you. You guys are amazing. Well, technically, it's your work, so we just yeah. sort of Techni take, taking your ideas and tinkering with them. Yeah. <coughs> so, thank, thank you so much. I'm sorry I'm away so much. That's um, fine. You've been financing us. We've used some of the money from the diamond to pay for this, so... Oh, uh, how much of that did you use? Oh, not, not a lot. Just some. I get inside check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 200,000. That's not stupid. I, I now need to... Oh, that's not good. It's 10. Some. Yeah. Some. A reasonable amount. Um, you don't have to count good. <laughs> um, just uh, for future reference, can you at some point figure that out next time 
um, I get some of those that money through the um, the the uh, two way uh, bag. Um, what, do you, what do you mean? I, it, it's just that the money needed to be split evenly with my party members. I'm I'm not the only person who found that diamond. That was if anything, oh, yeah, I didn't yeah, no, find no. it at all. The thing is, is that a lot of this stuff we then be able to sell on for like patents and stuff, and then we can like get the revenue from that. Oh, okay. It's like I mean, a little startup fund. Thank, thank goodness. Okay, good. I was so worried you just taken a large chunk of what essentially needed to be given out to my friends. <laughs> anyway, <Yeah>. so. <laughs> We've also ignore got... the inside check on that one and just go with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've also got this. We took your prototype of the little little person and they yeah. have the little man that's about a foot tall. Um, but we made him better and actually workable. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> um, that was something I was struggling with. Yeah. What what you need to do is you need to do this and he turns it over and he just removes the power from the back and you can see where there's a little bit of a few different connections. What you need to do is he sort of goes through the yeah. powering up system that's... I am no way near mechanically engineered enough to actually... What do you do? You just do this and it just works. Yeah. <laughs> I push this button that turns it on. Yeah, press the on button for on. I connected it to the power. Yeah, I plugged it in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had to do that with my mother once. She was just like, why is the television not working? Have you, is it plugged in? Yeah, yeah, it's all plugged in. Is it? <laughs> now turn it on. <laughs> You should. I, I did tech support for like five years, and having old people call up is just insane. They can't. How do you out. think my mother is? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just telling you, like an old person, yeah, and you're like I'm press not. this key, and they're like, I can't see the key. And it's like, Apologies you've got to, to all old each people key. who are yeah. watching the show. Yeah, sorry. Press, uh, not press the key. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so you, I've shown a few other things, and you watch as the actual the little man is. Very well designed in the way that its head is now been carved into essentially a Phillips screwdriver. Oh, okay. Um, and its little hands oh, are. Screwdrivers are available. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's the best kind. Let's just leave. <laughs> oh, it's most it's most universal. Yeah. Um, and its hands can be positioned to. Excuse me. To clamp on to nuts, mm. and it then locks itself into. <laughs> Really? <laughs> he had to make up for Ross. Ross would have been it's laughing true. a lot right now. Uh, and it clamps onto bolts, and it can then it then locks itself in place and is used as a ratchet oh. wrench. Oh, awesome! Yes, this it's used is... as a mini. It's a mini tool robot. <laughs> mm. I'm I'm gonna be like, thank you so much, and I'll just give Tom a hand. Come on, guys, everyone in on that's this. That's really oh, that's awkward. And oh. the height thing. Oh yeah. Sorry, like, I'm, in, I'm in your illusional chest, and that's not really appropriate. No, sorry, right, okay, sorry. I'm going to dispel this now. <laughs> Thank you. Get rid of the spell. I mean, disguise up yeah. And as you sort of do that, you just get dogpiled by five goblins who just <laughs> jump on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with this. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah. Yeah, they get the only. Mm. That's kind of how they sleep. Cute. <laughs> we did buy them a house, but, you know. Oh, um, right. Well, before I show you uh, a surprise, uh, I have uh, gifts. Uh, so, for five, fo, fum, hum, drum, I have these, and I just pull out all the five <gasps> fingers, and it's like take one each. Take a finger. The, they they all get there quite relatively quickly, and thumb is left with essentially the thumb. Um. <laughs> it's just a They immediately take them over to their workbenches and just start taking them apart and oh. looking at the different mechanics behind them. <coughs> um, you don't understand Goblin, do you? No. No. You no. can't even understand your own work. <laughs> What's a cheap bitch? <laughs> um, do we... Oh, and sorry, for you, Tolan. Sorry, I got distracted there for a second. I have uh, this. Oh! Actually, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yep. Where did you get this from? Uh, from <laughs> Svartofheim. My bad. Uh, from a place called Svartofheim in uh, Jorvik. Jorvik. Yeah, I know that much. Um, <laughs> do you? Are you sure? I do. I know the entire continent is Jorvik. That was the first thing I managed to remember. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, the first thing After you like a month. I was going to say, the first thing you remembered was Thomas. So that's the, Thomas. That's a, yeah. Thomas. Um, all right, cool. That's... Uh, that's interesting because yeah. the mechanics are really delicate. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, dwarf work? Sorry? Dwarf work? I, I believe so. The place I got it from was basically all dwarves. Huh. So, yeah. Oh, um, also, yeah. and I'm going to get out pretty much all the notes I made uh, on basically the books that I was reading when I was in whatever the bib lane mm-hmm. was it um, and I also have a bunch of notes um, from the artificers uh, up in uh, Jorvik uh, oh cool basically copied from some of their textbooks alright um, yeah we can we can certainly use some of these yeah you Just, got any idea I, what no, sort of projects we want to be looking at or I mean the work you're doing is great like this is exactly what I was thinking just tools to help people with different tasks you know um, basically cut out the need for people to do more mundane tasks and make life just more convenient. Um, All right, you know. we can look at that. Yeah. Um, I mean, if I have any ideas or if you ever want to leave me a note in the um, transfer bag, that would be fine and we can discuss it. Yeah, it just dep- depends how quickly you read it, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. In the, you left that bag full for like two months and... Ah, uh, yeah. What? He wrote Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, workshop floors get really messy. And that's why you have goblins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I want the goblins to have fun. Um, You're right. talking about having fun. Yeah, true. Um, right. Uh, well, yeah. Um, if anything, the research I'd like to see, these are... Um, I mean, I'm, how is the tank actually floating? Is that something it's doing through physical means or is that magical? Ah, it's a little bit of both. Okay. Like, the speed that it's rotating, it creates its own little energetic field around mm. it. It works best over metal. It, like, produces a little bit of electromagnetic current that it just sort of floats over. Two of um, the... Um... At which point, there is a knock at the door, oh. and uh, another tall gnome just leans in and goes, Hey, Talon! You gotta see this! There's some sort of mechanical antelope outside! This guy's so far off. That was the other thing. <laughs> come on, come see it! It's like this... Uh, Tom goes, Sorry, what? Mechanical animal? What? What's the hell are doing down here? I don't know, man, but you gotta go see it. It's really fucking cool. Yes. <laughs> Little fist pump to myself there. <laughs> he disappears off. Yeah, I obviously follow him. Tolan looks confused and follows. Oh, sorry, no, I thought you... No, the other me. guy. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, sorry, this was the other thing I wanted to show you. Um, we'll continue talking in a second. It sounds like um, my friend is uh, getting a bit of attention. By the way, right. I've, called, I've, I've called it Binky. Binky. Um, a bin- you, want your, you want your binky? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, because the move that animals do when they jump and kick their legs is called a binky. so Or a bink, I forget. I might just call it bink, actually. <laughs> bink. Bink. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, you head down the corridors and yeah. upstairs where there is quite a large crowd that has gathered around this now mechanical antelope that is just standing there, completely static. Mm. Just sort of looking... Oh, uh, excuse me, sorry, uh, that's mine, can I come through please? Uh, there's a few gnomes that have just sort of going there and actually taking some tools out and going hey, just hey, take, hey. lifting up some access panels. No, 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 I'm not sure she's okay with that. <laughs> Alright, um, so yeah, Tolan, uh, this they're, is... They're, st- they're just taking bits. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Make an intimidation check. <laughs> oh, this is gonna go well. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> um, uh, ability says, why am I not seeing... Oh, yeah, it would just be that anyway. 19. 19, damn. All right, all right, chill, lady, chill. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. And whoever that is. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. God. So, yeah, uh, I managed to... Um, some, uh, you know, people who were uh, into a... Uh, they have a similar god in... Um, in Jovic, uh, that um, is, is kind of like Hephaestus, and uh, they they mentioned um, the fine steed spell that uh, the Holy Warriors use, and um, they managed to give me some pointers, and I managed to make a spell to kind of do the same thing. And all you need is a bunch of metal scrap or shavings, basically, to make up the mass of it, <coughs> um, and you can bind a spirit from uh, an elemental plane to an improvised construct, basically. Uh, I have the spell uh, here, and I just basically take out my version of my notes on the scroll, and yeah. Tom takes it and has a look. Looks up at the, looks up at Bink. Looks down. Looks up. Turns the page the other way. 
looks up. I wrote it in common, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's just, he's, re- the, well, there's writing in common, but there's also, that's the sort of the instruction on it, but there is also the incantation and the arcane rune side yeah. of it, which you're less familiar with, with your learning. You've had to get someone else to sort of explain how to do oh, so you've yeah, not really yeah. drawn them properly. They're not yeah. quite accurate. Yeah. Um, and then he goes, oh, we gotta, we gotta take this to Director Yarrow. If you think so, sure. Yeah, she's she's gonna be all over this. All right, man. Cool. Can we cool. ride there? Cause that's yeah, yeah. You okay with that, Bink? Mm-hmm. Good. <laughs> right, hop on. And I'm assuming that the head <laughs> rotates round on the neck. Just looks at you. <laughs> Snaps right, back round um, into place. Where where would she be right now? Ah, uh, probably in the main. Arcana Mechanics Laboratory points over to the other side of the, right. the river. Cool, let's go. Whip the reins, but there are no reins. No, 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 I'm, I'm just going <laughs> like, to like, holding on to yeah. the thing, just like, pat, pat, right, let's go that way. <laughs> Note to self, install the joystick. <laughs> and you ride through, and you sort of get a few odd looks as you go riding past. There's a few people that have got their own constructs, mostly artifacts. Mm. Excuse me. I should not have eaten that. Pepper beforehand. Um, mostly artificers um, that sort of watch you go past and sort of, uh, yeah, big deal. They're like, oh, I can make that, I just don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Got an eagle at home. Yeah. Um, sure. But you are eventually uh, met, you uh, get an appointment with uh, Director Yaron, who opens her door to you. You remember the uh, blue skinned Videlkin that's in charge of the mm. uh, kind of mechanics? And she looks at you. It's so, tell me what you've got. Uh, it's a forged steed. Um, it's kind I see of that. Sorry, I see that. Yes, um, it's essentially similar to the fine steed spell used by um, holy warriors. Um, all it does is summons a spirit from one of the elemental planes uh, and kind of fuses it uh, with some metal pieces uh, to form the shape of the construct and uh, fuse it to this plane and that's uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell she stands up from her desk and starts walking around inspecting hmm interesting how does it work specifically um, well, it takes about 10 minutes of uh, focusing the energy and drawing the spirit uh, from there. You first have to place the pieces roughly in the shape that you want. Um, and then, yeah, you just uh, focus the magical uh, energy as you would when you're trying to summon something or conjure something. Um, Show and, me. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, Vink. Uh, I'm going to have to dismiss you and I'm just going to... Dismiss her for clang, 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 clang. Yeah. Um, right. So, and I get all the pieces again, pop them back in the middle, uh, and I start just doing the procedure for the next 10 minutes, I guess. Make a performance check for me. Oh, okay. Who do I want to use? Yeah. <laughs> That'll, oh, I'm not proficient in, so it'll be 22. 22? Okay. Oh, 24. Three. Do you want to just say numbers until you eventually get to the one that's right? 23, 32, I forgot what my check was, yeah, sorry. 64, um, 82. You go through, go through the ritual and you ex- sort of go through it. You stop occasionally, just sort of explain what you're doing and the runes that you're writing out. And occasionally you just sort of notice Tom just subtly corrects one that looks a little bit squiffy and is mm. you know, sort of halfway between actually the rune that you want and halfway to a one that just says twat <laughs> but you don't quite realise and he just sort of just draws an extra line in just to make sure um, but you can start the ritual and are you resummoning the same form for Bink um, yeah just summon Bink again shook antelope form and uh, yeah that's basically <coughs> it impressive May go, Tolan. Tom bows and oh, walks out. catch up with you in a bit. We'll finish our conversation. Yeah, no worries. Right. Take a seat. Okay. 
She goes around and sits at her desk. It's temples of fingers. Where do you see yourself within this guild? Um, someone who's trying to further its research while frequently going out to find more information to bring back. <laughs> She's not good with the authority <laughs> figures that she doesn't hate, okay? <laughs> so, you see yourself rather as an independent researcher rather than advancement to a position as mine. Oh, yeah, I don't... I'm not really after any particular position. I just like this stuff and I want to do it. Hmm. I wasn't even meaning to join this girl. The whole reason I did in the first place was because if no one in my party did, you guys were going to kill us. So, uh, although I'm really glad I did. Don't take that the wrong way. I'm really glad I did. I'm glad no one else took this place because, honestly, I wouldn't have half the things I have today if I hadn't joined you. This was offered to me. It was offered to you. It was really entertaining. That would have been yeah. horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Such a weird match. You mecha sword. That's what you would have made. Can I make something that cuts multiple times with one chop? Chainsaw blade. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say some Gears of War stuff. Come yeah. <laughs> Alright. I could see you as a independent researcher. Very well. We shall take you for a few more days to go through the the whys and wherefores of this particular spell. Mm-hmm. And then you can continue on your way. Cool. Thank you. She was not impressed by that comment, I don't think. But, uh, I, I just assumed she was. She seemed nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make an insight check if you want to. I mean, you didn't have that thought, so... I no, didn't have that no, thought. No, me. she wouldn't have had that thought. She would have just been like, okay, yeah, thank you. To dismisses you. Yeah. Um, you spend the next three or four days in the Contrived Union sort of teaching various people the spell and showing the different ways of doing it, the different elemental forms you're able to conjure from it, and it gets added into the lexicon of the guild. Nice. A number of people are able to put it together. Hmm. Um, not to drag my section out anymore, but the oh, thing I was going to finish mentioning with Tolan is that mm. the next things I wanted him to look into was um, ones that are slightly more magic focused so um, something that could preferably do oh crap what were they again there was healing and something else that I thought would be interesting um, but yeah I'll mention it later it's cool okay uh, in which case we will use that moment to take a break uh, to get some liquids and fluids and all sorts of things and get ourselves feeling liquids better. and fluids like all of them all the liquids and fluids. Oh, so, very consistent. We shall be back in about 15 <coughs> minutes or so. We will see you then. Mm. Goodbye. Bingo. And we're back. So, uh, as your downtime comes to an end, you teleport back to. Reminds me of you. Yeah, you did. I'm assuming you didn't leave without picking up the uh, teleportation sig- sigil to get back to Alfheim. Hello. <laughs> Didn't I already have it? I had the nope. one to the nope. the school. The uh, yes, you did pick it up. You did pick it up. Last I picked time. it up immediately. Like the first thing I wanted to yeah. do was get that. Yeah. So you teleport back. So that's the second use of it gone. With yep. Your, so I'm down to four now. With your teleporting antelope. Um, yes. You guys regather <coughs> in the castle, or if you so choose, you can choose to go back to your home. Because it has been finished. Hmm. Did the others... Has anyone else put forward their ideas for where we're going next? Because I'm pretty sure everyone's clueless as to what we're doing now. No I one thought, has said anything. I thought we were going to go and see Cedric's sister. He's already gone and done yeah, that on his own. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't want um, us to... Like, her to see us, basically. He's embarrassed. He had a month of doing... Th- he had a month to do things. He wasn't just going to wait for all of you mm. to go and see his sister. He had your own shit doing... So, are you going to at the castle or at your home? I'll be at the castle. Alright, castle yeah, then. Well. Well, that's where he's teleported back to, essentially. Yeah, trip. is around, says it's Kelatar. Uh, and Cedric. Oh, goody. <laughs> <clears throat> we got a lovely break. Yeah. Yes, my sister was around. <laughs> it was nice to see her. 
all well, I hope? She's fine. <coughs> oh, good. She had a peaceful voyage, apparently. And some other things that I'm not going to spoil for Ross if he watches this before I have a conversation with him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so better. <laughs> Ow, why is my nose bleeding? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyone got any ideas on where to next or oh, I don't know does anyone else have a mighty need I mean wasn't someone researching um, getting George back for us should we maybe check up on how that's going or... were they yeah Geronimo said set a bunch of arcanists to go and do it for you yeah basically <laughs> yeah, it'd just be nice to see at least where that's at all right. Um, speak to Joannis. He tells you that there is a particular uh, group researching this. Um, in particular, there's a it's sort of a cross combination of some of the priests and the arcane cast, some of the wizards. And that's what I mean. uh, the main person you want to speak to is uh, it is Bob. <laughs> Coelos Weaver. Croissant Weaver. Um, they are the, or he is rather, the leader of this particular group, and you sort of wonder what's him. He's a uh, looks like a youngish elf, um, but with elves, it's very difficult to tell what sort of age they are. Between like, now and a hundred. <laughs> well, it's between a hundred and ooh, some other year. Um, he sort of meets you and goes, oh, um, hello. Yeah, it's sort of a black, short, cropped hair, uh, narrow framed glasses. Um, hello, um, you are the ones who are searching for devils and pacts and things such as that, yes? Uh, yes, uh, also uh, our friend Georges Ormaster, uh, his uh, soul was taken by a follower of Gaeon. Um you know, uh, we were just hoping uh, that could be looked into, but yes, devils and all that. Is, and yeah, that's, that's part of that's part of our research. Um, yeah. So we um, we it's going okay. Um, there's a lot of different recordings of this sort of thing about different souls being captured by different arch devils, and um, it's taking time. We need to make sure we got the right things, and so far, the only thing that we can really find to get the soul back from someone is making that part of a deal with a devil um, which doesn't necessarily always go well but there may be other sources and we will uh, endeavour to find those as well Qu Question um, Yes, we like a, questions A deal with a devil Now, I know devils might be against each other so we might actually find a devil that wants to like, rather than make a deal with Gaon because I don't want to make a deal with that guy but if we were to make a deal with someone else who could, um, I understand that a devil might be against him, but demons and devils hate each other. Would there be a demon who would be able to help us? Or? No. No. Completely different system. I, I understand. I just assume because they'd hate them so much, they'd be more inclined to devil. help us screw the a no. de devil over. No. No, you do not want to try and make a deal with a demon because that will most likely end with you having your face torn off. Okay. Good idea. And what devils are devils are devils are the ones who they follow the letter of a contract mm. to the letter, mm. whereas demons will look at a piece of paper and just go eh, and punch mm. you in the face. Mm. Okay, good to know. Um, Which you kind of are aware of from all your extensive study into demons that you did <laughs> yeah. accidentally. I was really hoping that was <laughs> going to be more useful, but um, mm. you got some useful information about demons. If anyone's on D and D Beyond, don't refresh anything. The entire thing has gone down. Has it? Oh, I have lost everything. What do you mean everything? <laughs> it won't load anything. Of character sheets. <laughs> Nothing, none of it. Ruh -ruh. <clears throat> um Yeah, so, okay. Um, do you <laughs> have any leads on which devils would be the best options for getting favours from to to get this? Well, uh, you say Gaion, who's kind of an arch devil, so you'd kind of have to go above him. Okay. That's Sasmodius. And uh, what's he like? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, um, if you imagine the 
the king of all the devils. He is very charming. He is a fallen angel. He knows many, many things. And my gods do not make a deal with Asmodeus. That's a terrible idea. Okay. That will get you killed, probably. So, we'd have to make a deal with someone more powerful than Gaion, but the only person more powerful than Gaion we could make a deal with is someone we can't make a deal with. No, it's someone you really shouldn't make a deal with. I mean, you can... It's up to you, but... No, I, I will heed your warning. I'm just... It sounds like there's nothing to be done about it. There <laughs> might be things you can do. There are other archdevils that are above in the lower levels of the hells. Hmm... I mean, technically, Gaion is outside of that ranking. Mm. He's currently temporarily taken over. You may be best off speaking to uh, or trying to get an audience with um, the the usual ruler of that realm, the mm. fifth layer, which mm. is... Uh, give me any breaches for his notes and starts scribbling bits of paper to actually have here. So many books... All of the books. The Who's Our Dear Girl. That doesn't help me. Well, we already killed them. Why are you here, elves? Elves. Elves everywhere. Oh, we are basically an elf city. And who... Wait, who in the party's an elf? Or have we no lost, one. No one now. Founding probably used to be an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Try and fly and that'll tell you. <laughs> That's actually quite a good point. Uh, Levistus. Ah. Okay. Um, but yeah, Levistus is on that same level. So on the fifth level in Stygia. Um, but uh, they are... Hmm... Uh, he's currently trapped, hmm. frozen in place by Asmodeus. Okay. Well, it sounds like your research is at least coming along, but as of yet, we don't have a solid solution. I mean, if you want to try and get like the higher-ranking devils, the uh, archdevils, you've got uh, Glacier on... Malbolg, uh, you've got Beelzebub on uh, Maldomini, and uh, Mistopheles on Kania. Mm. Those are the ones higher ranking, I guess, um, but uh, yeah. I, I'm guessing the best that could be said for the idea of making a deal with them is that it's better than making a deal with Asmodeus. It still doesn't sound like a good idea. No, really not. But I, on the other hand, you could. There may be a way of. If you were to kill Garyon, he might. The souls he's captured may become free. I mean. I'm and guessing then, when we killed that physical form, that wasn't killing him in the way you'll. Oh, no, no. Him. Devil. It, to, if you kill a devil on, the, on any plane other than the hells, then it just reforms. Uh, Usually they're demoted, but if they're arch devils, they tend to come back in the same. Because only as Modi, you know, they've got the whole ranking system. I'll explain. Here's this diagram that I drew earlier, um, <laughs> and goes through the whole promotion and yeah, yeah. demotion system that the uh, the devils have. Basically, that essentially, the the any, devils of a of any rank higher can promote lower devils, mm. but only to a point that is less powerful than themselves. Mm. Um, but devils, being what they are, arch devils may decide to. From, see two devils who are sort of climbing up the ranks from imp to bone devil and or you know whatever bearded devil they get to the same rank and then maybe they just sort of go they just bump one up to like a chain devil and it's just like haha I now have sup I now have superiority over you and then just and then after a while promote that one to like an ice devil <laughs> and then that one has ah fuck you you dicked me over for years and now I'm going to screw you over and that sort of thing they might just do that for their own entertainment so basically they're just douchey businessmen. I mean, that's devils. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Getting a good picture now. <laughs> Can Garyon be summoned against his will? Mm, technically. That wouldn't really help because we need to kill him in his home, basically. We have defeated him once. If we could keep summoning him and defeating him, maybe we could make a deal 
to stop doing that in exchange for what we wanted. <laughs> and nobody <laughs> is facing our friend. It's you know, not the Doctor word Strange him into it. <laughs> <laughs> to Babu! <laughs> I've come to bargain. Going on! <laughs> We've come to bargain! <laughs> 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 Okay, okay, oh, here's so that Ash can chop you up again. <laughs> if you want us to stop doing that, <laughs> give it your I also now have sol- um, Sunbeam, which is radiant, <laughs> so he won't like that either. Radiant damage has made, made absolutely no difference. Oh, didn't it? The pit too, not when Ash was using all her radiance. Yeah, I don't know, it's just because she did that all first radi- massive attack that made a massive gouge in his arm that, like. Yeah. No, that's just because she crit it. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't real good. Yeah. You ain't good. <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't give a shit. Yeah. No, he did. I think. A little. A little bit. Yeah. Enough to kill me. Yeah. Um, I'll try. Yes, if there's anything else I can um, maybe help with. Mm. Any other questions? I can try. Mm. You know, I'll go through things. Um. Are you saying you want to go to the Nine Hells now? No, I do not. Good. No. If, if anything, before I go to hell, I want to see my family again. Because if I'm going to go to hell, I'm most likely going to die. And I'd like to at least see them one more time. It's good that you're approaching such a task with such positive thoughts. <laughs> I... I mean, do I things ever go that smoothly for us? Really? Is, is it... Is it... Am I being pessimistic or am I being realistic at this point? <laughs> I'm guessing Garyon would be more powerful in his own own play. Certainly. I do really like this annoying the heck out of him idea, though. Keeps us safer, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> but maybe we should have to think about it. <laughs> no, let's go right now. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll be here if you have any other questions. Yeah, thank you. Thank you we for your research. We need to work out how to do it. Maybe, Maybe we should go and see Fee's family. Maybe that means we should track down Royuin. Hmm, that's a good point. We really do need to get back. Oh, these guys were researching devils. Um, did we get anyone on the task of research? I'm, I'm assuming. Um, uh, uh Shadow Council, whatever it's called. The I forget what he calls his um. Basically, his reconnaissance, rogues, and all that. Oh, the yeah, his cousin essentially. <laughs> okay. I swear they had a name. A Master term. of Spice. He did it, no. He never actually gave you that. Oh, okay, I swore there was a term for the core or something. Um, it's Master of Shadows, I think. Yeah, it's on that Spy that. Network. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe we should see if they've got any more information uh, to lead us. We can go and see him if you feel the need. Mm-hmm. I would tell you his name, but <laughs> it's broken. But and it's just come back. Hey, I've only been hit and refresh consistently. I was going to say I could tell you his name, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, anyone outside the party. If you want to find out his name, his name is Impressman Connor. With your note taking, <clears throat> and then you just have to do <clears throat> the loading symbol across your face. <laughs> Please hold. Please hold, Paula. Your call is important to us. Is that honestly the only one I haven't got written down? <laughs> what, the prince that you killed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've... <laughs> wow. I've got R2, old friend, bracket, Thomas, <laughs> Ranger Forsaken, <laughs> the Octoposse. <laughs> oh, I've written down everyone we've met and I've not written down him. <laughs> Orion, Ragnarok, Vecna, Corvesh, Lord Sliver, Lord Flamekeeper, Gaeon. Yeah. Noel and Freud, Regvig, Vesit, R2. It's the people most important to you. Dareth. Dareth. No, I can't even. No, I've not even got that on there. You <laughs> son of a. <laughs> I can't believe I don't remember that because it's basically medieval. For Brotherhood Saint of the Orion, yeah. Nistradair, Conquest, Brogmere, Family and Co., Contrivance Unions, Miggledy and Fee. He literally got everything other than him. D A Y E R E T H. D A Y. Because I told you. Yeah. E R E T H. Thank you. P R A T Y. Because I got. I still remember watching that the first time. The real king. <laughs> the king of the swingers of the jungle VIP. Please don't sue us, Disney. Have you seen the one with... Um, or employers. 
What do you call it? Christopher Walken doing the egg? <laughs> no. Ah, oh, it is hilarious to like have Christopher Walken as as CGI giant monkey doing that song. Just worth a watch. <laughs> anyway, so yes, what are you what are you doing now? We're, we're going to go see if they've got any more um, info about Cult of the Void. Okay. Um, you do know that during this uh, the sort of the week, the Legion and Nordak have gone back to Nexus. Hmm. Um, they have gone off to continue their research into the cult uh, okay. back there. Oh, yeah, they did say that, didn't they? Um, hmm. The Legion occasionally pop back here because they have a home here now. Um, but they do spend some time They spend some time with Norlak in Nexus and sort of undertaking some missions down there. Mm. Do the, uh, the Legion have any valuable information? Um, <laughs> no, not really in terms of what you're, when you speak to them. Okay. Um, only that they're sort of following up some leads. They're trying to connect to certain individuals on there, trying to see if they can make their way into it and understand the cult a little bit more. If, uh, if, yes. if no one's got any information, maybe visiting my family isn't the worst idea because we could also stop past Elendor and maybe I could see if the Queen has managed to acquire any information. I did <coughs> impress upon her the importance of looking into it and... I mean, I haven't heard much about her, but I do feel that she's at least a pragmatic woman. Sure. I mean, I have no preference at all. I feel like my adventure has gone on long enough. I think it's time for someone else to finally well, this was take over. Oh. Yeah, I was the original person who brought us <laughs> all here. Oh, so many months ago. Mm. <laughs> Actual Both months. in real life <laughs> and... <laughs> In-game, it's only been about... Five weeks or so, four or mm. five weeks or so. Just, just like, like months. <laughs> just like four actual months. Yeah. <laughs> We've been here. Yeah. I mean, did anyone else have anything they wanted to do? Like you said, no one else who isn't here hasn't said anything. So. Trick says. I, I think right. Athena just wants me to come with you and protect you a lot. And what a marvelous job you did. Trick says. I, I don't mind whatever path is best hmm what well, as someone who's new to the party uh, what do you think about our options actually is it right for me to be trying to converse so much with Trick without um, Tom here do you think uh, Trick's general impression is he doesn't mind mm, okay because that's what Tom said to me. Do you think you particularly want to do, family? Since we have no direction. And you... We have no intelligence. You pray to the wise one. We could pray together for guidance. We, we could ask for guidance. She's, she's if it helps, <laughs> I can give you guidance. I can also give you guidance. <laughs> no, this is perfect. Artemis got, got us at the The heart. cantrip one I can do. Okay. Uh, Mm-hmm. Is, is that there is a spell sure that gives a d4 to something clerics and druids can druids yeah. but paladins don't have cantrips bless bless that's the one different thing yeah. sorry what was the question um Artemis is god of the hunt right goddess but yes goddess of the hunt right yeah no that's oh my god like brains back that's perfect there's something we need to hunt a, an organisation and the people in it and she can hopefully lead us. Maybe we should go find a temple and all pray together for some guidance. You may pray to Artemis if you choose. I will pray to Athena. Sorry, did I? Oh, right. Sorry, I, I get those names mixed up. Um, yes, they're very no, similar. Artemis, but, Artemis is the goddess of the hunt. Yeah, she sorry. Is my goddess. No, no, no. Sorry, your goddess <laughs> Athena. Uh, what is she the goddess of? Uh, Wisdom and civilization, as well as crafts and war. Hmm. She's a, she does a lot, does Athena. <laughs> it, is anyone in the party then still strictly towards Artemis? Because I know Lyra was strictly Cedric. Cedric. <laughs> He's like the cleric of the he is of Artemis. Artemis. Okay, good. <laughs> um, right. Well, Cedric, maybe you could uh, lead us in uh, whatever way you see fit to. Um, get the best guidance we can for our coming adventures. If we want to speak to Artemis, the best temple that I know is the one where we met the hunters. 
so long ago, north of Sol Risa. Uh, well, I can at least get us to Sol Risa, so... <laughs> that might be entertaining. We could look at our old stomping grounds. Yeah. I think that's where we met Spy. That's where we met Marlene. And it's Jeez. where we all met. Oh, and, and Fee immediately feels sick. She's like, I, I, I killed When dad. you were a mushroom. <laughs> her dad. You were a mushroom back then. That was fun. That's not an excuse. You were a fun guy. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. Did Cedric? I make well a joke? Yeah. I feel like I made a joke. He did, Cedric. Yay. Well done. Right. Does anyone... Was it amusing? To some. To some. You should I think people, people would call it punny. <laughs> Would you like to rage? <laughs> What's that over there? <laughs> Cedric puts on his shield. <laughs> Being um, more wisdom for won't help you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, does anyone have anything they want to do before we go, or shall we? Um, uh... You're not going to say goodbye to anyone? I might say goodbye to you. <laughs> I was actually saying that out of character, sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, <clears throat> yeah, me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry, yeah. Um, Damn, boss, boss. <laughs> oh, I might, I might do. I've got some things. That we all need to do other things. Well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. You just like immediately announce, I'm boring. I have nothing in my life. I just follow you guys. <laughs> No, he's following the guidance of his. Group. I know. I, 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 it was just like I don't. It's just like saying I'm boring. No, it just doesn't have anything I that he know. needs to do at the moment. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of why we're moving on. Yeah. None of us have anything yeah, to do. Yeah. 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 All right. Rock. Well, um. Are you pointing the DM with fancy dice? He's bribing me with fancy dice. Oh. It's my wooden dice. It's a nice wooden dice. Mm. It's a nice wooden dice. All right. It's a um, nice wooden dice. <laughs> Well, yeah, everyone let me know when they're ready and we'll get going. I have done what I need to do. It would be good for me to go to a temple of Artemis again after she did such nice work with my axe. She did nice work with your axe? She made it better. Oh, when did that happen? About three weeks ago. Oh. We saw her on a walk. I'm so glad you brought it up. (laughs) Didn't we, Trick? Yes, yes it is. We should probably get that cough scene too as well, Kafina. Yeah. Let me try a lesser restoration. Uh, yeah, it doesn't that matter. didn't work. It's... I might need to do greater. I'm not that powerful yet. Actually, yes, he is, but nah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not wasting you, it. On you, you can't... I'm not wasting a fifth level spell slot. It's 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 not um, a disease. I'm just that exhausted. Um, you can't cure exhaustion, which is true in D and D. Yes, you can. With sleep, I get, but greater greater restoration. Oh, yeah. Really? yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Okay. Specifically says that you can get rid of a level of exhaustion. I didn't know that. Oh. It's because you've never played a healer to a high level. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I quickly a did level. a level six one, and I'm like, yay! My healing's a bare shit at level twenty. Anyway, so is that what you guys are doing? Are you teleporting to Sol Risa? Is there anything that you want to try and achieve before you head off? I'd like to go see my lady friend once more. You see your lady friend once more? Hi. Um, are you alright? You look... Um, you look armoured. <laughs> you, look, you look ready for war. <laughs> you have the pointies. Yes, I have. All of the pointies. <laughs> I brought divine and fury. <laughs> <clears throat> well, me and my friends are, might be heading off. Oh. Nexus or Sol Risa or I don't know where those are exactly they're very far away and I've quite enjoyed staying around here <laughs> I've uh, enjoyed having you here uh, do, you, do you want me to come and see you off well what would you do if I stayed and didn't go with them I, I would be quite happy with that I mean, the king wants me on his council. 
It's a good job. It's something to start off with, I suppose. And then, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I should do. She slowly extends a hand to take yours. Neither am I, but... I can always see. We shall see. Now it. Now it. Now it. I can do those now. Oh, your hand is so clammy. It is. <laughs> it's from D&D Beyond. <laughs> no, no, it's from me. The pure. Yes. yes. It's your smouldering intensity. The pure. Yeah, but I, guess I realize, it's, the, realize it's Danny DeVito smoldering. <laughs> <into this. laughs> yeah, they're both role playing, looking longingly into each other's eyes in different cameras. In different yeah. cameras. So <laughs> it just looks like you're looking off camera. I'm just off somewhere. <laughs> um, if you want to, do you need to let anyone know that you're staying? I mean, I should let them know. They will come looking for me. Oh, they probably would. They seem like a nice bunch. They're not too bad. A little bit gung-ho. Mm. <laughs> 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 ah, she thinks I'm the patient one. <laughs> oh, man, she's going to... Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> I've wasted all my good rolls on those. Yep. <clears throat> what check, sorry? Deception. Eleven. Probably a little more calm when I'm not there. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> After all, you did win the big one. Without knowing what it was. <laughs> it's true, it's true. She looks over her shoulder in sort of the library area, which is just <laughs> the big one. It just sat there. Just being a big moose. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll go back to the gang and let them know the good news. Don't be away for too long. I won't be. This will be very brief. <laughs> <laughs> you need to head back. You need the rest of the group who have got your preparations ready to go. Asher arrives. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I won't be coming with you on this specific trip. Okay. Um, fair enough. Uh, yeah. Okay. We um, are simply going to gather information. True. We don't need everybody. Yeah, We've got just, something better to do. Just a uh, a recon. <laughs> a recon mission. Some oh, thing. Yeah. Thing. It's a recon <laughs> mission. Yeah. yeah, no, it's just... Um, I've got some things I need to, to, to do here first, and uh, three weeks wasn't quite enough. Fair enough. Um, do you want us to keep you in the loop? And oh, uh, of course, yeah. yeah. No, if anything... Untoward happens. Anything catastrophic? Mm, that's a good point, actually. Um, have I, while I've been shopping here, have I seen sending stones? Um, make an investigation check. Last last time you priced them at four hundred. I don't know how much it's going to cost you. Ah, oh, real. <laughs> what did you roll? One. <laughs> ah. Okay, fine. Um, Twelve. Um, they do have them. Um, you do see them available for six hundred gold. Mm, I mean, yes. I, I, it's just like because now that I realise I can't actually cast message or sending, whichever one's which. Sending. Sending. There we go. Um, such similar names. Um, <laughs> um, similar function. Definitely not similar names. Message sending. Basically similar meanings anyway <laughs> um yeah so uh, okay there's not really any other way to communicate is there like unless I do grab a stone. letter yeah cause snail mail is going to work help. real good <laughs> she'll come she'll get yeah. there actually <laughs> over an, a month of ocean <laughs> and, and then just go straight in the water <laughs> she'll uh. Technically, Kelatar can learn it because we've we're playing the variant where he can change a spell once per long rest. Oh, okay. So he can learn it for a day. Wait, 
Sorcerer also had that in that variant. Does that mean... Sorcerers I... don't have it on their spell list. No, 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 not that spell, but I mean, can I switch spells during a long rest? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I probably won't, because... You I can only swap spells one with. spell, and it has to be yeah. a spell at the same, same level. Same level, yeah, I remember the rule. Um, yeah. Oh, no, it's Arcana. Yeah. Magic. Um, <laughs> right, okay, well... Yeah, seems like we can communicate anywhere. Don't need to spend money on that, so yeah, okay, well... Um, you'll be missed, and hopefully we'll see you soon. And Fee's just going to awkwardly come up for a hug, because... Okay, well, Ash I will pick you up, because I oh. can't bend down that low. <laughs> I am going to be embarrassed then, but yeah, it's, um, you know, she she probably <laughs> hugs you pretty tightly, because you're the one who's always saving her, so um, it's going to kind of make her nervous, knowing that you're not going to be there this time. Um, so yeah, you can probably feel the like anxiousness and. No, you'll be uh, fine. You're just going to get some information. You'll be right back before you know it. Yeah, it's, it's, nothing will go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> looking immediately. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not there. You can't look at me. <laughs> I look at the sky. Oh, punches you in the face. <laughs> Stop <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> um. All right. Well, everyone else is ready. Uh, I guess we'll get going. Hold on. Oh. I should say goodbye to you as well, Asher. Goodbye. Until we meet again. I prefer to think of this. Do, do I hug you? Now? I'll offer a handshake to Cedric. It's a formal... <laughs> In both of us. <laughs> he does the special handshake that he used to do with George. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry to see you go. I'm, but it's gonna be to, right here to go for the moment. But I understand. Sometimes you've got to chase the things you want. I've done that more than a few times. <laughs> <coughs> it's very alluring. <laughs> I will have a lovely time. Don't sure. die again. No, I'll make sure I'll make sure they don't. But on the plus side, if we do, we've got a cleric who knows how to bring people back. I think. Cedric No, I cannot do that. It's all on you, little buddy. I'm just gonna go buy some diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah, I'll leave them to it. Alright. Bippity boppity poo. Asher fades into the darkness. Um, you draw the teleportation circle and appear in the Guild Hall of the Orionids. Yeah. Exactly. To which uh, there happens to be Orion of the waves just sort of nearby. Oh, hey! Your friend's a Lyra, right? Yeah. Yeah, what's she doing? I haven't seen her for a while. Oh, she left, uh, what, like, Two months ago now. No, like oh, five day, five weeks ago. <laughs> oh, okay. I know it was more than a month because we've just had a month downtime, but I wasn't sure how long before that. Yeah, it was like five weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, a lot of pretty dramatic stuff happened, and she just needed to go home. I think. I can appreciate that, but I get a little bit too piled on. You know, I just go for a swim and. It all feels right. Cool. <laughs> anyway, you can go on your way. It's like yeah. totally chill, man. Yeah, sure. Um, right. Guess we'll get going. Nice seeing you again. Bye. Bye. Don't be a stranger. And he walks over to one of the windows and just jumps out. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was the street side, right? No, the yeah. ocean side. <laughs> Splat. Uh, Do you not know people everywhere? I mean, we've been to, what, like... Everywhere. Four continents now, <laughs> and we've covered most of the area on each of them. I mean, this continent... Not even a slightly. <laughs> okay, we've visited a bunch of places in a bunch of different continents. 
you've, you've been to like four out of five places in Jorvik, four out of nine in Jorvik. Yeah. And you've and been I... to three settlements in yeah, Caradon. Yeah. yeah, I just remember like um, the continent we're on now. What's that one called? Fiaros. Fiaros, yeah. We only like travelled from like north to like southwest. We just walked in a and straight then that was, yeah, you walked in a straight, straight line, line and then you moved in a couple of different zigzags to yeah. go to the Grove and yeah, um, Nexus. So we did miss quite a bit of that. Okay, yeah. But it's no, like most travel. of the other most of the continents still yeah. available to you. You know, after a while it just feels like you must have been everywhere by now. <laughs> just look at my map and just go, so many places, so much law. <laughs> Wasted. Yeah. Years of academy training. Um but you arrive. Are you doing anything in Sol Risa before you depart? Because by the time you get here, it is earlier in the day, because obviously they are further behind oh. timeline wise. Gain some time. Gain a few hours. Um notice how much warmer it is here. It is also a lot warmer, and you suddenly immediately feel the need to strip off your winter clothing yeah. that you were wearing. Yeah. Um it's it's colder than the last time you were here. Not by much, mm. but it is still getting close to winter, um, and sort of the temperate climbs here. But it's kept it still around twenty degrees centigrade. Um, Kelvin. <laughs> <laughs> so it is still warm. Cool. Um, no, warm. Uh, so we don't have Lyra anymore. Who's probably the best at figuring out how long to get the to the Temple of Artemis? I mean, I know where it is. Yeah, you're probably our best bet. Do you think we can make it before um, nightfall? Or no, no. It took a day and a half to get there. Oh yeah, right. Um, so long ago. Um. Hmm. If you would have to camp on route anyway, we could just start now. Yeah, I guess. Um, should we try uh, maybe just buying some potions before we go? Or that was something we'll make an investigation check to see if you can find any. Um, well, fine. Twelve. Twelve. No potions here. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> yeah, if only you'd been to places where they made them. Like the contrivance, contrivance you yeah. <laughs> I was meaning to do it while I was there. I obviously got distracted. <laughs> and didn't you say you went round to the shops that, back in your book to note which ones would sell potions when they'd be open? Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> I get distracted easily. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. do, Shut do up. You, do you have a, do you have a potion You're of there? Pure ADHD. <laughs> yeah. You just feel Asher's disapproving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I actually do. I was diagnosed. But, um, yeah, doesn't um, matter. Irrelevant information. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so, all right, um, seeing as that's that, I guess we get a move on. All right. Walking or horses or whatever. I mean, I've got my mount, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm probably faster than a horse. Yeah. True, you are. Uh, so, so it can be a horse. <laughs> True. It's only an hour, though, right? It's, no, polymorph is an hour. Wild shaping is for a half the druid level in hours. Oh wow, nice! But given that there's five of you, yeah. Oh, well, Kelatar, uh, Trick and Kelatar could probably share a mount. Oh, actually, Trick, if you want, you could just uh, share with me. There's enough space for another small person. Sure. Um, and if Cedric tries to do a horse Kelatar, I can run. Well, even if sometimes I'm into a horse, guys. <laughs> but we can't get a horse to carry Cedric. This is rather demeaning. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> with just a suggestion. Could I at least have a saddle? Why don't you two discuss it amongst yourselves? Could I have a saddle if I'm going to be ridden? What do you want to do, Kelata? If we were going to find a saddle, we would probably find that that's a place where there were horses. So it would be easy just to get a horse. Things below them. It's windy. I mean, to be honest, you might as well walk. We've not done much. Yeah. It's not too far. We've done it before. And we're not in a rush either, so... We can enjoy the stroll. Yeah, sure. Alright. So, excuse me. 
We will stroll. You saunter your way mm. towards the Grove of Artemis. And that is where we'll pick up next time. So, a little bit of a pause for Asher to explore love. Marriage. <laughs> love. Have a bear bear. <laughs> Lots of babies. You've got to make at least ten babies. <laughs> Have you not worked a- Two I think women. we need to get you a book of reproduction, <laughs> Jared. I mean, Two women. I mean, we're in a world with magic. I'm going to say a wizard did it and leave it at that. Probably that not. doesn't sound very <laughs> consensual. Um, probably a god did it. So yeah. Probably not if consensual. You, if Asher were to use a potion that changed to a Let's gender, not go there. So, we will pick that up next time, uh, where we will see where things go and see what happens when you make the way towards Artemis. Um, until then, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate everything that you guys like to come and see us do, and hopefully you've enjoyed watching us. Tell your friends. See our previous episodes. The previous, the last, well, I think there's like 18 episodes now are up on YouTube. Yeah. So, from like most of this arc, in fact. <laughs> All of my arc. Um, <coughs> so, until then, thank you, and we'll see you next time, and survive until Friday. Good night, everyone. Goodbye. Kapow.